Well, hello there, everyone. I am Luca from MiniWarGaming.com, and welcome to our Warhammer 40k Battle Report for today. I am joined by my guest, Jason, in this 1,500-point game of the Dark Eldar against his Tyranids. We play and call it work. Mini Wargaming's Warhammer 40k Battle Report. Well, let's take a look at the Dark Eldar today. Uh, you're probably wondering why I'm playing Dark Eldar. Well, this is actually Jason's request. I always ask my guests what they prefer to play against, and uh, he said he has Dark Eldar, and he'd like to play against Dark Eldar. So I said, why not? So I busted out Steve's collection, and here we are. We are gonna be playing a real space raid, and leading it all, we have an Archon, who will be joining a core of the Archon, who will be joining a Cabalite Warrior unit. So I have a rather large unit that's a little unwieldy here, but, I mean, that's fine. Uh, with those Cabalite Warriors, I have three additional units of Cabalite Warriors with the full array of weapons, and the Cyberites have Blast Pistols and their Cyberite weapon. I think that I'm saying that correctly. And uh, the rest of those Cabalite Warrior units will be riding in a pair of Raiders. And then one of the Cabalite Warrior units will be split up into two Venoms. Now, because I'm playing a real space raid, I do want a little bit more pain points, pain tokens, I guess. Uh, so I have a homunculus who will be joining a unit of racks. Uh, just a tiny little investment on this point. Uh, the rest of the army is mostly just Capolite stuff. Not a whole lot of Witch Coven in the collection here, so we're gonna be running with just uh, Coven and Capolite stuff. I will have, though, a Kronos pain engine and a Talos. I'll have the fire support of one Ravager, and lastly, one unit of Scourge. Now, everything in this army is going to be what you see is what you get, so a lot of Dark Lances, as you imagine, and uh, apparently rookie numbers, as uh, a few other people here who play Dark Eldar are aghast at how many Dark Lances I have. I should have way more, but I only can have so many. Also, I have no enhancements in the army, unfortunately. I didn't have the points. This is 1,495 out of 1,500 allotted points. Anyways, that is the Dark Eldar today. Let's go take a look at the Tyranids that Jason is bringing. Hello there. My name is Jason. I am from Whitby, Durham region in Ontario, and I will be playing my friend's Tyranids because I do not have a painted army to my name, and I don't think I ever will. The Grey Legion. The Grey Legion, exactly. I need to get a new uh, paint scheme going. And uh, with, uh, with the, me today, I have mostly a Godzilla army, so with the exception of the u two units of 20... Termagants, which will be good for objective holding and whatnot, and the five units of Barbgaunts, which are good for disruption, it's mostly going to be single entities looking to scream and uh, apply pressure at all of the uh, little Eldar guys. And with that, we have a Neuro Tyrant. Not entirely sure uh, what they're good for, but I will find out. And uh, they look really nice. Old One Eye, a staple. He seems to be the can opener of the, of the army. He'll be able to open up some vehicles for me. I have a Parasite of Mortrex, which will hopefully be giving me a couple Ripper Swarms as well. A, a Screamer Killer, one of the newer models, I believe. Not entirely sure what they're capable of, but they seem a little all around, plus an OC of three. My Warlord is the ever-loved and always present Swarm Lord. Four, four Bone Sabers, Twin Linked. Uh, he is going to be a force to be reckoned with, I believe. I also have some Tyranid Warriors with ranged bioweapons. They're going to be cooling down some suppressive fire, I think. And I believe, finally, a Tyrannofex. Mr. Mr. Bombardment himself. Hopefully I'll be uh, planting him on my home objective, and uh, he's just going to be raining death down while he laughs in the background. Today's mission will be vital ground. In my mind, I see the Dark Eldar quickly trying to loot what they can from this abandoned Eldari settlement before the Tyranids fully encapsulate the planet. Unfortunately, they get tied up in a little bit of a conflict. So they have to hold the ground where they can, take whatever data they can and any valuables and get the heck out of here. Now with Vital Ground, we have a pretty basic mission. Now the way scoring is gonna work with Vital Ground is starting in the second battle round, as usual, you'll gain two victory points if you have your own objective, five for each one in No Man's Land, 
and then six if you're able to rob the one from your opponent in their own deployment zone and then scoring will be a little different in the fifth battle round for the player going second but a lot of you are already familiar with that so vital ground only cares about the objectives killing is a secondary to get to those objectives and hold the ground vox static will be our mission rule the tyranids are messing with command back into orbit. So the reroll stratagem and the new order stratagem will cost two command points instead of their usual one. Just wanted to show off the battlefield a little bit for this game before we deploy our forces. I got an objective on an elevated area here. I wanted to make sure the objectives were on important areas, essentially. It's called vital ground for a reason. So these weird like Eldar techie things and mirrored over there. This one's a literal webway portal. So everything is of some extreme value. Uh, and with objectives, you control them five inches vertically and three horizontally. So even if this is up on the ground there, you can still control it from the bottom level. Because I kind of wanted something in the middle there, and then these are just whatever. They're on the ground. That one's on something there. You guys get what I'm trying to do here. A lot of this terrain is all like printable scenery and death ray designs. And the battle mat is from gamemat.eu if you're curious. And some GW kits and stuff from Adam at Greenleaf Terrain. Uh, we're going to go ahead and roll off now to pick sides on where you want to deploy. Uh, and then we'll be right back with uh, our armies. And uh, I'll let you see what that looks like here in a second. Boop. And here we are all deployed. So I got this side of the board. I got a Venom right there. Uh, I did split up a Cavalite squad with my Venoms. This is the one with the Cyberite and the, uh, what is it? The Blaster and the Shredder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a Raider back here. We got the Ravager, the Court of the Archon. This is the Coronos, the Rax and the Homunculus. There's the Talos. The Venom with the more long-range guns, I guess. The Dark Lance and the the Splinter Cannon. Yeah, that's what it's called. And then one more Raider over here. And then in reserve for the Drukhari, I'll be running my Scourge. And then on this side of the board, we got lots and lots of bugs. So kind of a similar theme. We got Termagants and the Screamer Killer. Boom. And then we got Termagants, the Barbagants, Carnifex, the... Uh, not Car Carnifex. Oh, what's this one? That's Old One-Eye. Oh, that's Old One-Eye, thank you, that's right. Kind of a Carnifex. He is, he's the leader of Carnifexes. The, not the Turbogun, the Tyranifex? Tyranna, Tyranifex. Tyranifex, yeah. there we go. We got uh, Old Swarm Lord. We got the uh, Parasite of Mortrex. And then the Nero Tyrant with the Psycho Phage, that new fancy Tyranid monster I don't really know much about. Warriors and Nero Gaunts. The Nero Gaunts are joined by the Nero Tyrant. Uh, that's about it. We got our objectives on the table. We don't really know what we're going to be drawing. I didn't mention it in the mission, but both players will be playing tactically, so we're going to be drawing random cards every turn. So, without further ado, we're ready to start this game. Are you ready to roll the first die roll to see who goes first here, Jason? I am always ready right. to begin the decline. <laughs> the beginning of the end. Oh, I got one, though. All oh, right, well, okay. Tyranids get to go first, then, so good luck. Let's see what you got going. Let's do it. Alrighty, so we have two secondary missions here. The first one is assassination, probably one of the more self-explanatory missions. You have to kill a character, and if you do, you score four victory points. And attempting target, Luca is going to choose. Uh, Luca is going to choose one objective marker in no man's land, and at the end of our turn, if any one of us controls that objective marker, we we gain an extra five victory points. And for tempting target, well, ah. Uh... I mean, you're gonna go for all three of them anyway, so I don't really think it matters which one I tell you to go for. Let's say uh, this one, sure, why not? That's the one, that's that's your. That's where you're gonna seal your fate. My plan is to give you choice paralysis. Yeah. You don't know where to shoot if you have to shoot everywhere. Exactly. And then for as for my characters for assassination, uh, they're both right here. That'll be a little difficult to achieve, but if you can't do a, uh, if you can't do one of the cards, you can always discard them for command points. So you always have that in your back pocket. We are gonna go into the command phase now, gain some command points. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna be keeping track of the score. And you're probably familiar with this at this point, but here's my little score tracker. I'll be on the left. Jason will be on the right. The D10s will be primaries, up to 50, and the secondaries will be on the sides here. Starting on one command point each, and these D6 here are my pain tokens. I start the game with three, and then I start the game with an additional one for every kind of character from every different part of the real space raid I have. Only have an Archon and a Homunculus, so I get an extra two. I'll gain more pain tokens when I kill units, when units and when units fail battle shock checks. Unfortunately, I don't have the good enhancement to give me one every command phase, but that's okay, because uh, I'd have to drop a pretty significant element to get that. 
What I mean by that is it's a very limited collection of Drukhari, so I wouldn't be able to actually take anything out and bring anything in that'd be less points. This is kind of it, other than more... Uh, actually, I think that's kind of it. I have Reaver Jet Bikes and some big flyers, and that's, uh, that's, that's where we're at with them. And a couple of things to note as well. We didn't do the Psychophage in the Army Showcase, so he's in the list. There he is right there. He's just a big, cool little monster. It gives things a feel no pain nearby. He himself has a better feel no pain. And we wanted to talk about the Nero Tyrant's enhancement, which we missed out on. What do we got here? The Nero Tyrant is equipped with Synaptic Linchpin. And when a wall of friendly Tyranids unit is within nine inches of the bearer, that unit is within Synapse range of your army. Okay, so it just extends the range of it a little bit. Yeah. Normally six, gotcha. That Normally works. six, it's nine for him. And then we have to pick your detachment rule, which is like an adaptation. You get to pick one of three rules for the Tyranids to have. We sure do. It's either sustain hits against infantry and beasts, lethal hits against vehicles and monsters, then precision for characters. Yeah, something about characters. I don't have a lot of characters, so we don't care about that <laughs> one. Which one are we going for here? Oh, I am most certainly going for hyper aggression in true Tyranid form, which will give me any monster or vehicle unit uh, I attack has the lethal hit ability. So that'll be against my Ravager, Raiders, Venoms, and I'm almost certain the Talos and the Kronos are monsters. Uh, yes, I believe they're monsters. So if you'll get that against them as well, which will help quite a bit. In your uh, a couple things in the command phase, the Swarm Lord gives Jason an extra command point. He'll be at two, actually. And uh, the Nero Tank gets to pick two units within 12, and they'll be in Synapse. Uh, we'll figure out who that's going to be, though I don't think it's super necessary right now. That's probably better for future turns. Not that it costs anything, I guess. All right, here's a question. I... Uh, how do you play? How, what is the proper pronunciation of synapse? Because I say oh. synapse and you say synapse. <laughs> I only say synapse because that's what I've always heard like Matthew call it. I have no idea what they're I, I got now. I'll, I'll say synapse too. I don't mind at all. As, I, long, as long as you know that it's pronounced chitin and not chitin. I go, I go uh, yeah, I go chitin as well. That's the proper English way. Yeah, that is a proper way. Just yeah, yeah. it's chitin. It, that's definitely one of those words where people would argue it's like mostly semantics. I've always just heard it called chitin. So when someone said chitin, I'm like, I, get, I mean, that's not wrong in a way. But I used to call it chitin too because I played Morrowind. And yeah. Mor Morrowind had, 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 the, had the chitin armor and then I heard chitin somewhere and I'm yeah. just like, that sounds so much better. It sounds cooler, yeah. yeah. It's like uh, there's uh, like there's a, uh, Abaddon and Abaddon. It's spelled yeah, the same way as that's the thing. A, I say Abaddon, but my buddy says Abaddon. Yeah, so. I know. Abaddon, the character, but Abaddon, the word, you know, it's one of those things. It's um, it, when it comes to like old English, new English, whoever, everyone. I don't know. I'm not a linguistics guy, let me tell you. That's for sure not my thing. Uh, I, I know a doctor who might uh, have some insight into that, but, you know, he's got insight to everything. Uh, that's, um, that's pretty much it for the command phase. Uh, we got the... Well, uh, we could say these guys are within 12. They're picked. Those guys there, bam, those little gaunts. They're yeah, going to be in Synapse anyways, or Synapse. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> They're in Synapse. They will say Synapse. I think everything is within Synapse at the moment. Yeah, it should be all good to go there. We are going to go ahead right to the movement phase. And uh, I'd ask you to summarize your movement phase, but I, I can take a strong guess as to what the plan is going to be. It is the Endless Swarm. I am going to move them forward and do my utmost to hold all three middle of objectives at once and hopefully just bury you in victory points. Yeah, that's uh, super fair. I, I, I can kind of feel that coming. So <laughs> this is all going to go that away. And we're going to be right back once that's done. Okay, well, here we are. We had some monstrous advance rolls. These guys just all making it up to the objectives. No problem. Pretty much every gaunt unit rolled a five or more on their advance rolls. They're all claiming the objectives. They're going to put a lot of pressure on me to make it uh, not allow you just to run away with victory points off the rip, you know? Uh, okay, so everything keeping up pace, Psychophage, Warriors moving up behind, the Swarm Lord, and the Parasite moving up and around, Old One-Eye with the Barb- The Barb Gods did leave their cover just to get some turn one shots, because they weren't in range right away. The Tyrant effects keeping a reel back there, and the Screamer Killer and those Gods moving up there. Uh, we're good to go to the shooting phase. Any idea where you'd like to start? For shooting? Yeah. Uh, I think the only thing I can do are my, uh, big effects. And uh, and my barb gaunts might be in range of your Talos. Uh, beyond that, I don't think anything can hit. I have to double check my uh, tyrant to see if it has a long range. What's it? It, it does have some psychic eighteen attacks. inches. It it, it has. Uh, they don't do psychic powers, but they do. They have psychic attacks. Yeah. And it's eighteen inches, so I might be able to. However, the Nero gods did advance to get to the objective, so he won't be firing. But that's okay because we got the Tyrant effects with that rupture cannon down at the Venom. 
is the best bet. It's the only thing I had to, I kind of had to expose the Venoms a little bit if I wanted to threaten the objectives or to get things on the objectives right away. Uh, okay, well, with that in mind, the Venoms have Stealth, which is nice. The Counteracts are heavy, so you're back to hitting on threes. Uh, my Tyrannal Effects, it did not move. That's what, yeah, you go back to twos, but negative one for Stealth. So threes, to, it would be threes after all the modifiers. I could make it one additional negative one to hit. What's the strength and damage on this attack? The strength and damage of the Tyranno Fex's Rupture Cannon is 18. Okay. And damage 2d6. Okay. Use Quicksilver Reactions here to try and keep it alive, because if even one of these get through, then, uh, well, it's toast, and I don't want that. But we have the Swarm Lord on the table, and he's got a rule called Malign... Presence. Presence. You want to pop it on this? I sure do. It's going to make uh, every future casting of that stratagem cost one more. Yep, yep. Just like Vect. I got the Archon's got a very similar rule. In fact, we have two models on the table that do the same thing. So Quicksilver Reaction will be two command points for the rest of the game. Huzzah! Uh, okay, well, let's uh, see what this Rupture Cannon can do. All right, so we got, uh, after everything is said and done, it hits on twos, but this thing's negative two to hit. Because we get plus one to hit, negative one to hit, and then I'm gonna give you a further negative one to hit, so it'd be fours. All right, fours to go. I've got, Don't roll I've two got fours. the mountain, and I've got Dark Eldar by my side. This is a pretty critical first roll of the game. Can you just pop a Venom? Ooh, <sighs> it does miss. It does. After the miss from the Tyran effects, we come to these Tyranid Warriors. We're gonna fire, they have a Devourer, Venom Cannon and a Barb Strangler. Now the Devourer is on range, but the previous two will be, boom, or the, the other two I mentioned will be into this Venom here. On second thought, with 36 inch range, the Raider is in range of that. So we're gonna pop some shots into him and see what he's got. He's got no stealth, so eh, no no defenses. Blue is uh The blue die is gonna be the... D6 plus one, the Barb Strangler. The Barb Strangler, this is the Venom Cannon over here. Yep. So three shots and... and they're both four plus. All right, perfect. Four is to hit with these weapons. And these are lethal hits. Yes, true. So if I any sixes lethal. will be wonderful. Bloop. So I see one lethal and a bunch of wow. <laughs> literally all misses. <laughs> hey, the Venom Cannon. But it was the Venom though. Cannon. After my cover modifier, I'll have a five up save against that. And we're gonna oh. come wait. You can't get through my armor. I don't know why I rolled <laughs> it so far away, but we make the save. For that very dramatic shot, we got the last thing to fire. The Barb Gaunts are gonna volley or barrage this poor Venom over here, who is currently negative two to hit, but that doesn't matter at all. <laughs> nope. We got the D6 attacks. There's five of them. And uh, that's what we got. Five to hit. All right, not bad. Oh, and lethal though too, because lethal lethal's... hits. Not bad. And what do we need to wound here? Fives, it did not work. Uh, I still got two saves from the lethal, though. You'll have cover where it is behind the weird tier and things are good. You can't hurt me, <laughs> I Jason. cannot. I've, you can't hurt me. No matter how hard I try. Oh, that should be it for shooting. You find yourself in a pretty spicy position here with all the bugs and all the objectives, and it may, kind of forces my hand to put a lot of fire into them. But as you have weak, small infantry and big, sp small monsters, this list also has weak, small guns and big, strong guns. So we'll see how that dynamic works out. Uh, as for your secondary cards, you got your tempting target. So you got five victory points there. And uh, you still have assassination, but uh, I'd recommend getting rid of it so you can draw two new cards. Yeah. I am most certainly going to get rid of assassination. But because the Swarm Lord gives you an extra command point every command phase, you can only ever get one a battle round. So discarding the card won't help you there other than letting you draw in more cards in the future because you can only ever have two cards. So yeah. Sorry, what? A lot of words, I know. I a, mostly for the viewer, mostly for the viewer. Okay. <laughs> Drawing two cards for my turn, we have Cleanse, uh, which won't be doable right now. I gotta perform actions on objectives that I control. Uh, maybe in the future, but I'm probably gonna get rid of that card. And we have Assassination. I gotta kill one of the many named monsters. Oh, I have so many. I know, so that's kind of, I'm thinking old one eye, maybe. Yeah, so for Cleansing, it has to be one of the ones in the middle or the enemies, ain't gonna happen. No way, there's too many bugs. I have to cleanse the objective first in a very different kind of way before I can cleanse it mechanically with the cards. Uh, as for killing a character, Parasite's a lone agent, Swarm Lord, he's kind of thick. He's got a four up and vulnerable save. Hate that for me. Nero Tyrant has a bodyguard unit. Uh, so the only other viable character is Mr. One Eye, but he himself has a five up feel no pain and a two up save, so. It'll be kind of difficult. Otherwise, for my command phase, both Jason and I get command points. Nothing too crazy. I'm gonna go to, there's no scoring to do, so I'm gonna go right to the movement phase, but I'll give you an update of uh, what everything's looking like. But here we have just the five point lead for Jason. Three to one command point. Yeah, let's see what I can do with that. Do, I'm gonna move most of my forces. I'm gonna shift 
a lot. I'm actually not gonna. Okay, so here for my movement, I am gonna shift a lot of it to the middle here. I have to deal with all the gaunts on the objectives and also old one eye. So I'm gonna put all my small arms fire on the gaunts and focus the heavier dark lances that way. So I'll show you where all this ends up. It's gonna be coming into the fold around here though. Okay, so the raider went up this way. I was too afraid to commit this venom, so I just—I actually scooted it back a little bit over here. Because uh, I'm just going to do some... Uh, I'll, I'll get points later. If I do well here, I'll get points later. This Talos moved up to go deal with some of the Gaunts there. The Kronos just stayed here. He's within hes within nine of this, within nine of all that stuff. So I kind of want him back there anyways. I did think that it might be worth having one of my Cabalite units or one of my Venoms pop up this way. And see if I can do something for this objective. And they could... And they're going to disembark... <sighs> They're not going to disembark. They'll stay inside of the Venom, I think, is my best bet. We'll see, though. I actually don't know if that's the right answer or not. Well, the heck, we'll even have it go a little bit closer. He's having a hard time with all the terrain in the way, though. There we go. I don't think I want to disembark them. And then, yeah, this freighter just moved up here from there, and that that's kind of it. I'm going to go to shooting. I have to use my pain tokens now if I want to. And I do. I do. I'm definitely going to put a pain token on my uh, Court of the Archons unit. I'm going to put a pain token on the Ravager. So the, the, if anyone's unfamiliar with Drukari, if you're just watching my content because you like the, my videos, I don't usually play Drukari. So uh, start of the phase, uh, you can either reroll advance roll or charge rolls based on like, you know, whatever phase it is. Or if it's the shooting or fight phases, get full rerolls. Uh, but they're like a limited resource. I get them back when I kill things. However, this guy allows me to get them back on a four up. So I'm going to use one on the Ravager. I'm going to use one on the Court of the Archon. And I think... Because I kind of... Mm, big rolls. I'm going to do one on this raider as well. No, let's just do it on these two. Let's see if I get them back. I get one back. Well, the taco never lies. Thank you. Oh, that's one back. I got four remaining. Try and use them throughout the rest of the game. I don't know if it's like better at Alpha Strike. Probably better at Alpha Strike with Nasty Drukari, but we'll see. I am going to start this shooting phase off with the Court of the Archon because of range limitations. I have them in a position to hit those gaunts, so... All of the shots are going to go into the Gaunts, except the... So the Shredder will, the Blaster will, because range. Funny enough, the Blaster. And then all of the, the Dark Lance and the the big gun. What's it called? The Splinter, the Splinter Cannon? Cannon? Yeah, that'll go in Old One-Eye. Yep. There's a lot of things to resolve uh, <laughs> with the new Cavalier Warriors. So I guess we'll start with the Shredder. It's D6 automatic hits for Torrent. It's two like one big pool of wounds to probably speed things up but i'm gonna roll the hit now with all of the splinter rifles and the shard carbine these are threes to hit sixes are lethal so we got two more wounds in the pool and just re-roll everything re -roll to hit everything yeah uh aha -huh. i could look for more lethal but i'm gonna just chill for now those are those that's pretty much it for the little shots so the blue dice are the shredder they wound on twos the other ones wound on threes because they're anti-infantry anti three oh uh, so we got uh, quite a bit of wounds oh, i get to re-roll though Okay, there we go. So th that many saves on the Gaunts. We are going to use a Rapid Regeneration on the Gaunts here because they're near Synapse. It'll be a 5 of Funeral Pain. But I am going to use the Archon's <laughs> malicious ability, the old Vect ability, to make Rapid Regeneration cost two command points for the rest of the game. So we both used our abilities. And what have I done to you to I... deserve such treatment? <laughs> These are all 4-up saves because of cover. And then a 5 of Funeral Pain afterwards. And I kill... Oh, ooh, not much. I killed oh, three. Three. <laughs> three of them. Boop -a boop. I have a couple more guns to fire, but uh, just the blaster into them, essentially. Yes. Nothing else is within. Uh, all the other guns are like 12-ish. Okay, let's go with the blaster. Hits. Uh, wounds. No, it goes right through your armor. It'll be four feel no pains on one gaunt. <laughs> Can you make four no. five ups? I need power of the Dark Eldar here. And no, not even, not even remotely close. <laughs> I call that Dark Eldar rolling because... <laughs> not for me. I'm doing well so far. No? Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Would you please remove for me that one god who got blasted? Uh, the... You mean you mean four? It's only one. It only can kill one. He got blasted four times, though. Oh, wow. Go ahead and resolve the Splinter Cannon before the Dark Lance and an old one eye. Hitting on fours uh, with sustained hits. I'll re-roll because of the pain thing. Ooh. Six is a wound with four re-rolls. Oh, we got a wound. Nice. Two wounds, oh. Splinter. All right, well, my Dark Eldar dice failed me, so Steve, I'm imploring your powers of the mountain. 
Uh, nope, that's uh, that was the wrong call on that one. Now, luckily, old one has a five. He has a five of field of pain. <laughs> oh, you are correct. That's four damage though, because it's two per. All right, split the difference. Yeah, two you, dark Eldar. You guys suck, mountain. dude. Like so far. Don't blame me. Blame Dark Eldar and Steve. Oh, there you go. I made one. Just okay. three damage from a gun that should have never done any damage. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do the final shot here. The Dark Lance. Uh, misses and with the reroll still misses nice. Okay, not too bad So we kill a few gods a little bit less damage than I thought I'd do but I'm not un I'm actually happy actually with the three damage I I'll take that then we're gonna go with the Ravager technically I should have shot the Ravager first because it does get to reroll heroes of one against they got full healthy enemy But I put a pain token on it. So it doesn't really matter. I'm rerolling anyways. Let's do the dark lances triple dark lance beep, 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 into the big guy. Let's see what we got. This could hurt. Uh, we got I think it's threes to hit. These will be threes to wound. Well, that's one wounding hit. Only AP three on that, so five up. That's a five though. <laughs> Steve helps you there. Damn. Nice, good roll. The next thing I'll do will be the Talos firing his twin splinter cannon into old one eye. I just want to get him down. I just want to get him out of here. Ah, uh, should I wait for him? You know what? I will wait for him. Let's do a bunch of other random weird things first. Let's do this venom. I am gonna put the Splinter Rifles, there should be three in there, into these Gaunts. No, ah, oh, but they have a five, I feel a little pain right now. Let's do it into these Gaunts over here. And then the Dark Lance will go into Old One Eye and the Splinter Cannon will go into the Barbed Gaunts right beside him. And with the Splinter Cannon, why not? That is a sustained hit, they all hit. Breeze to wound because it's anti-infantry three up. That is three wounds on the Barbed Gaunts. Three five up saves on the Barbed Gaunts. Okay, that does kill two because it's a splinter cannon. Sure does. Ba boom, and then I guess I got to resolve the dark. Got bang them. and bang. The dark lance. Pew. Missed. Oh, it hits. It wounds. Five plus save. Oh, and Bollocks. this is gonna deal six damage. He's gotta feel no pain though. Yeah. He needs it, and it's gonna be. Okay, he's still alive. <laughs> still alive. Oh, oh yeah, no. Yeah. I hate it when shooting works. No. And then we have the uh, blaster, not blaster, sorry, splinter rifles into these guns over here. Uh, threes to hit. I think that's it. That's There's nothing fancy on it. They're anti infantry three up. Uh, eat that, gaunts, three saves. But they'll have cover because of the things in the way. Yeah. Four ups. Four um, ups. I'll strike down one. One. One, one gaunt. Uh, and then, oh, I, I guess technically with firing deck. That would have been all of, I have to, I don't do the Venom separately, I do it all at once, I just realized. So this, those cannons were always going to go into the Barbagons, so it doesn't change much. I have two more Splinter Cannons into the Barbagons. I actually have to do them separately. There's a reason I did it separately, because the Venom is threes to hit, the, the Raider, the guys inside are fours. So threes to hit, we have everything hitting, Ooh, and threes to wound. Okay, just a casual five, oh, yeah, five no of save. Two damage each, right? Correct. All right. Damage each. These are going to be fives. Uh, they get they are not alive. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. that, that venom is done. Let's go ahead and do this raider with 10 Cabalite Warriors in it. Uh, we're going to put the Dark Lance on the raider and the Dark Lance from the Cabalite Warriors into Old One Eye to try and take them out. And then on the inside, we have a shredder into them. Oh my gosh, the blaster into them, I guess. And that would be, and then the splinter cannon will go uh, into them. <laughs> and all the other rifles are gonna go into these guys. Get the dark lances out of the way. They don't have any pain tokens. So the one that hits on a four and the one that hits on a three. Okay, nice. <laughs> Let's do the blaster and the shredder over there then. And the splinter cannon's in them too, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right, so let's do shredder. It'll be six automatic hits. These are gonna wound on twos. Oop, but you have cover. Uh, so that's six wounds. Six. Four up and then a feel no pain afterwards. So anyone that's failed is might as well reroll to a five up. Let's see if the strat helps. It does. It does. One more gaunt goes down. Boop, from the back. Bing. And then we have blaster, which misses. And then I could do the cannon. They all miss as well. Okay. I should. And then we have the rifles over here. And the rest of them. Threes to hit. A couple misses. And then these are... Wounding on threes because it's anti infantry, so they are gonna have cover. Five saves. Four ups. I kill two. Who's it gonna be? It's, it's gonna from the be this burn. guy and this guy. Alrighty. With that we're gonna try the twin splinter cannon into old one eye. Uh, should be three shots still on fours, but sustain. We got one hit. Six to wound. Ooh. With a reroll. Oh, oh, we miss it. 
couple more over here that could see old one eye down this way to try and take him out. But let's see if the Rax can do it. We have the one weird, I don't know why. Rax have always been this weird unit to me. They're like this kind of melee durable unit, but then they have this one weird sniper gun for like whatever reason. The hex rifle hits on a three and it wounds on a five. That's a six. One save. Four up for all the marbles. Ba, ba, ba. Oh! You're not, you have to feel no pain oh, still. Oh, right. It's two, two damage, I think. I'll double check. Can he make three five ups? I don't know. Can he? I want to say yes. But not no, even, he can't. Not, not even one. Not even one. Nice. So boom, right on the head, he just falls over. Boom. Uh, away. Good, Good night, sweet one. prince. Does he have deadly demise? Let's see what he's got. Deadly Wait, demise. I need to double check that if that is old one eye. He doesn't have deadly demise. He's a very peaceful end for old one eye. Hey, he, as we know, he will always be back though. It's also come to my attention that Rax, because their kit comes with so many weapon options, they actually have one of every weapon. They got a guy with rack blades, only rack blades, a hex rifle, liquid fire gun, os factor, and a stinger pistol. The only other gun in range is the os factor, which I'll put into the gaunts right in front of me, I guess. One shot, three to hit, and uh, that's a devastating wound. Two more wounds on that cop, but he's got a five of feel no pain. It's an interesting in interaction. It might actually kill two gaunts because it's uh, more wounds. You will. All right, eat that gaunts twice. I'm going to eat it. Ba -boom. Excuse me while I eat it. All right, eat Munch it. and crunch. Beautiful. Now, because the Rax killed it, well, because I killed the unit, I gain a pain token, bringing me to six, five. But when Rax kills something, you get an extra pain token. Didn't know that. So I get, I'm actually at six pain tokens now. Not bad. So, so far this turn's going exceptionally well. It's the rule called the Torturer's Craft. Next up, we have ever more shooting because we're playing an elf army that wants to hide and shoot. Huh, let's go with these these guys are gonna fire everything into the gaunts and by the gaunts i mean these gaunts the nero gaunts in front of us they are still gaunts they have a feel no pain because of this guy nearby i'll have the blast pistol from the leader into the monster and then i'll do the splinter cannons from the venom into the warriors in the back uh, I'm just trying to remember what else is on here. But guys, I suck at true card. <laughs> splinter rifles. You got splinter rifles. Splinter rifles are going over here. That is for sure. I have a shredder and a blaster. So shredder, blaster. So blast pistol, blaster. Uh, the uh, tw the two ca cannons, splinter cannons, and all the splinter rifles there. I did it. I did the thing. All right, nice. Heck yeah. The blue die is going to be the blast pistol because it's a little bit weaker. Uh, oh, jeez. I threw it way off camera. So I got a miss on the blaster and a blast pistol also misses. Double ones. Easy. Don't have to worry about that. I have the shredder, which is four shots. Two to wound. So far, four wounds. It's strength six. And two rifles into that same unit. They all hit. So it's four wounds so far, plus another three. So seven wounds on those Nero Gaunts. Do gonna... four saves first at uh, five at ups. Five yeah. ups. That's fine. Uh, three. Uh, that's So th that means you could do one more at a time until you fail the four up. Oh, actually, or do the feel no pains. Actually, that makes more sense. So how many feel no pains? Three of them so far, because it got the psychophage nearby. That is all three of them dead. Be like, boo, 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 those yeah, ones. Yeah. Gonna... There's three more to go. You still have a bunch of guys in cover, though. Well, five ups, and then you might as well, any fails. Oh, one, one fail. feel no pain. And blip. Oh, hey! nice, excellent. He does the thing. Uh, and then I'm going to put the splinter cannons over this way. Threes to hit them. We got the sustained hit, which means these miss. We keep that one. These are anti-infantry three plus. So that's four saves on them. Yes. I'm shooting through this. So we'll get some cover. Oh. AP on the gun will counteract the cover. So fours. Uh, two. Failing two. Uh, that is, they do have a six up feeling no pain though, because this yep. guy. So the first guy takes two and then two more to go. Two damage each. Oh, right. Boom. All right, I do four damage, but I think they're three wounds each. Yeah. So I only they're definitely, one. they can't be. We'll kill the guy with the devourer then. Which is? I think the one in the middle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. These are still good and coherent. Uh, that is this thing resolved, I hope. And then we can go to the last thing finally to fire the raider. And uh, I'm going to put the dark lance and the other dark lance into the. Tyrannophex. No, nope, not nope. Tyrannophex. Psychophage? Psychophage. There it is, yes. And then I'm going to put the blaster into the Psychophage as well. And then I have the Splinter Cannon, which I'll put back here. And then everything else is into the Gaunts. And that's the Shredder and the Splinter Rifles. Okay, let's go with the Dark Lance on the Raider. He's on a three. That's a four. And then one on side, and side is on a four. So that's two hits with Dark Lances. Oh, no. Three's to wound. One does oh, fail. Oh, thank gosh. And I don't know what kind of save you have. Six up save because no cover on him and no invuln. 
And survey says, you're good. Oh. Bless the mountain. Oh, thank you, mountain. <laughs> he is nearby. Try that blaster out, which is gonna hit. And ah, uh, that's a wound on a five. Definitely. Burn right through his chitin. Bam. And it'll deal up to five, but you have a five of feel no pain. And awesome. All right, four damage. Six remaining wounds, which reminds me, I killed those uh, barbed guns. I would have gotten another pain token. It doesn't really matter yet. It means on my second turn, I have to realize I should probably use a lot of those. I was a little too uh, reserved, I think, on yeah, this one. You gotta go mall. <laughs> I gotta go nuts on that, apparently. Shredder, uh, one. All right, that's fine. I want wounds on a two, and then all the splinter rifles. Threes to hit. And threes to wound. So that is gonna be a total with the shredder included. Six saves at five up because of cover, and then a six up feel no pain. And the rest. Five ups make it, then a six up feel no pain from the psycho page. He protects none. Four damage on him. No, four little guys. We're getting them. We're trying to at least. Oh no. <gasps> the Nero Tyrant. No. And then I have the last gun to fire is uh, the splinter cannon into these guys, which hits twice, wounds once, and they will have that same cover save of four up. And it's two damage if you fail. You have a six up feel no pain. For the warriors? Yes, because they're near the psycho phage. Oh, Two no. damage. One wound left on a warrior. The wounds on the the one that we're assuming is the barb strangler. I don't. We're gonna say this venom is the venom cannon. cannon no, ma yeah. no matter what, this is the venom cannon, even if it might not be. Yes. I did the thing. I got. Oh yes, I do have a charge. You sure do. I want to have some fun with the talos and see what it does. So we're gonna declare a charge with the talos into those nasty bugs in front of me. Let's see what we need. Uh, we get a seven, which is enough to get in go something like that which does get me within six of the swarm lord who could declare a counter charge yes but we're gonna see what that distance looks like yeah Actually not that bad of a charge we'll give it let's, let's see what you got here and i am going to do it <laughs> so you'll go down to one command point and you're gonna heroically intervene with the swarm lord that's what you get <sighs> and... technically the averages are on my side yes <laughs> so that'll take him right to here which will get within an inch that's where he'll go, kind of right up against that gaunt there. <laughs> I do get to go first with the Talos, but uh, we'll see what that can do for me here. I guess I'll do the Icker Injector into old one eye, and then I'll do the flail he has into the gaunts. There's a pain token here to make him reroll everything, and I'll do the Injector into the Swarm Lord, so I'll do the flail first. Threes to hit with rerolls. Uh -oh. It's rerolling the hit roll, not reroll everything. Yeah, just the hit roll. These are strength six though, so two's to wound. The Gaunts, ooh, still failing three of them. Five saves on the Gaunts, no AP, so they're yeah. five of save. Five of them, I kill four. The Icker Ejector has extra attacks into the big, oh, we miss. Oh, but reroll. Ah, oh, uh, we hit. We hit. And wounding on a five. No, ooh. taking the four Gaunts, and then that is it for me. You get to fight with those Gaunts and Mr. Swarmlord. He's just attacking with his Bone Savers, eight attacks. What are you hitting on? We are hitting on twos. <laughs> yeah. Roll me four ones, no! <laughs> oh, you have just entered the bone zone. Ah, we're gonna lose our pet Talos here, that's okay. Threes to wound, and it's twin linked. So any fails, get to re-roll. He's got so many swords, it's hard to, only one fail, okay. Well, what are, three, what dam a three damage each. What AP are these bad boys? Negative two. Okay. All right, uh, five up, armor saves. I need the luck of the dice. Ah. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. That's not bad, that's eight damage. Uh, my guy has seven wounds, but he does have a feel no pain. That's 12 damage. Uh, oh, it's three each, isn't Sorry, it? Sorry, I shouldn't have moved away. That's, no, no, you're fine, you're good. Okay. Damn, what do we got here, what do we got? Let's see, I need to make a lot of these feel no pains. Try it again, we make uh, four of them, which means it's eight damage, and I think we die by one. Well, that will be a deadly demise. Hey! hey! We do a mortal wound to the little guys, uh, kills one of them, and then the swarm lord takes the damage as well. I'll Bam. take it. Boom, boom, boom. Now. That might argue, you might argue and say, Luca, you just gave the Swarm Lord a free seven inch move, who then can move in your lines and crush you, and you might call that a throw. But, uh, yeah, whatever. The wound's left on, the Swarm Lord, and you can't expect me to sit here and just run away and cowardly shoot all game. Well, not it, all game. It feels kind of, it just <laughs> feels wrong, you know? Nine wounds left on him. Uh, no, no consolidating, there's nothing really to consolidate towards. Not that you'd want to. We are gonna go to mm, the end of my turn which is scoring. Uh, my secondary, I do get the kill a character because I killed old one eye, he's a you character. sure did. And I'm gonna get rid of cleanse. That won't be happening anytime soon. I cleansed a lot of models, but I, I killed a bunch of stuff. Alrighty, I have, I have deployed teleport Homer and engage on all fronts. 
And with Deploy Teleport Homer, I essentially have to use my shooting phase in any one of my units to plant a, uh, a homing beacon for all the little bugs to come and say hey. And I'll get three victory points if I can do that. And for the second mission, we have engage on all fronts, which means I have to get my bugs into all four corners in true Tyranid fashion. I will get less victory points for three and full victory points for four corners. Alrighty, I'm going to use my stratagem Endless Swarm, and I'm going to bring some of my bugs back. Which bugs would you like to return? Well, I guess it's only, I guess it's only There two, are only it? two that are yeah. really the options. I would like both of uh, my, one of my Termagants and one of my Neurogons. So that's D3 plus three back. This is good because it brings them over their battle shock number, so you don't even have to do the battle shocking. So it'll cost one of the three command points. You would gain only one normally, but the Swarm Lord will give Jason an extra one, so he was at three. So these guys, D3 plus three bugs. It's six bugs. Six bugs. And let's see what we get over here. Then we'll put the models back. And it's going to be six bugs also. Oh, four oh, bugs. Four bugs. But that brings both of them over their uh, battle shock threshold. Sure. And they're back. And they're back. And that should bring us to the battle shocking, which you don't have to worry about now. And we can go right to scoring. You are crushing me on score right now. This ain't looking good. You got a couple Nero Gaunts over here, which beat my Venom. You definitely have that objective, and you absolutely have that objective. So that will be 15, 16, 17 victory points, if I'm correct, which is nuts, because that's a good chunk of what you're able to get off the rip. Yeah. And just taking a look at what we got going on here. I got no primary yet. I haven't had a chance to get it, but we're tired on secondaries. But you just cranked 17 victory points on primary. That's going to be hard for me to come back from with my uh, Drakari list. I'm probably playing a little too passively, but I'm just trying it out for the first time. Three to two command points currently. We're gonna start moving off over here. We're gonna show you where these guys end up. This is the Nero Gaunts, the Nero Tyrant, the Psychophage, and the Warriors behind. The Nero Tyrant is gone. So just move up to the Venom there. The Psychophage is gonna go right past it, eyes on the prize, mm -hmm. and the Warriors are just following suit. They're gonna try and do a little bit of damage to him first to weaken him a wee bit. Then we're gonna move on to Mr. Swarm Lord, the Gaunts, and the Parasite. We're gonna show you where they all end up. The Termagants move up and around to get some line of sight. The Swarm Lord rushes towards that Raider, eyes on the prize. The Parasite's gonna wait in the middle to see where Scourge end up, because we don't really need him right now. Uh, the, I assume we're gonna keep the Tyrant effect still so he gets his heavy. Sure does. And then we're gonna see where the Screamer Killer and these Gaunts end up. That is it for there. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to really do in the movement phase. We're good to go to the shooting phase. Any idea where you'd like to start? What do you want to see happen first? I want you out of the sky. Okay, so does that mean Rupture cannon? <laughs> Absolutely. Let's uh, start with the big boy. All uh, right. Well, it costs two command points for my guys to wiggle really quickly, so it's just not worth doing now. <laughs> I don't think that for a negative one to hit, so we're gonna just uh, we're gonna not do that. But also, the other thing to note is the another good reason to keep the parasite and Mortrex in the middle is so that it can plant a teleport beacon. In this case, a little weird Tyranid node to alert other bugs to this area that there is battle commencing. Not that they don't already know because of hive mind things, but you know, victory points. That'll be three victory points. I can't really do anything about it. And then the rupture cannon is gonna light up that raider. We're gonna go into the raider. Two is to hit because it's heavy. Bwamp. There's always one. Wow, there's always one. Uh, should be a two to wound. Uh, might be three. We'll see. Roll the die and then I'll check. Ah, it doesn't matter. Definitely. Before I have my power through pain and vulnerable save, which I'll fail. 2d6 damage, you said? Mm -hmm. Pff, bring it on. One shot goes through, pops the raider. Very cool. Seven? Six. Oh, six. Six. Not quite dead. He still has four mini wounds, but right. a good hit all the same. And we're going to resolve the Termigant Devourers. Boom, 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 boom. Got the flesh bores on them, so it'll be 12 shots at strength five. Should be fours to hit. Okay, that's Ooh. three hits. Two of those are lethal, and then that's just a five to wound on that guy. Or maybe even a six. It don't matter. Four ups. Uh, that's the damage. We're gonna do that yet again with these flesh bores into this venom over here. 17. Fours to hit, sixes are lethal. I see Ooh, five, six, six wounds off the rip. I think these ones are fives too, and I'll double check if you roll fives. You'll probably roll five in this pool. Aha, I gotta look. I know this thing's T6, that's a wound for sure. I owe you seven wounds on my venom, eh? Well, that's kind of cool. Uh, da, 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 da. You are gonna deal four damage to it, has got two wounds left. Screamer Killer is gonna breathe or scream at the Raider here. D6 plus three attacks. Okay, let's save it on a Raider, so. Well, I gotta hit first. Oh, these are, is this not Torrent? It's actually not Assault, I mean not Torrent, it is Assault. Uh, that is three hits. Okay, not bad, four is to wound. Boop, 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 boop. And two. You can reroll that one if you want, it's not fully flat. 
Sounds good to me. Wait, hey, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and these are AP pretty good. I will make two saves though. Two All right. remaining ones. All right, well, it didn't matter. <laughs> True. Uh, then we have a few shots over here to resolve. Yep. What you're gonna do is a Psychic Scream into the Venom. Eight automatic hits. It's Torrent. Psychic Scream, very spooky. Let's do my Venom. Okay. Minus one. Minus one, five ups. I will make three, I take four damage. I got lucky, I actually probably should. Uh, two damage each. Yes, fail the two. I probably should have oh. died to that, I got lucky. Two remaining wounds, excellent. And then, because the Screamer Killer screamed at the Raider, we do have to do a Battle Shock check on, which I forgot to do. At negative one. Negative one on the roll, so I fail, they're Battle Shocked. Put a little one beside them to show they're Battle Shocked for later. Uh, I don't know if I'll use strats on them, but we, you never know. Okay. Bring us to the Psychophage, screaming at something. And that something will be this Venom right here. It is D6 attacks. Two. Two. Uh, should be forced wound. One. If you won, five up. We are okay. Wow. Why, thank you, Taco Cat. I love you too. And we have these warriors. We're going to put the Barb Strangler, or the gun, we're, yeah, the Barb Strangler into the Venom, and the Venom Cannon into my Raider. Okay, and Barb then, Strangler's D6 plus one of attacks. All right, green is Venom. That's so D6 plus one and D3. Um, I just did with the Barb Strangler because I got stealth. I forgot that on the other Venom, but that's okay. I've uh, got three, well, one wound and two hits on the Venom and two hits on uh, the Raider. And the green dice need fours to wound and the blue dice need, I think, fives. Uh, blue dice is fours. So that's two wounds on my Venom and one wound on my Raider. Two wounds on the Venom. Uh, pass one, fail one. He's got a wound left. Oh my God. <laughs> he's, Wait. He's Wait. unflappable. Then. And the Barb Strangler's a negative one. Yes, I had a six up save okay. on him. Six up save on the Raider. Ooh, how much damage on the Venom Cannon? Three? Two. Two? All right. Eight wounds left, one wound left. That'll be it for shooting. Go with Big Boy declaring charge into this guy here. Uh, seven? Seven, oh, that's, definitely that's gotta enough. make it. Yeah. I guess I will overwatch him with this squad as he, as he like starts his charge off. Because why the heck not? Maybe I'll get a damage or two on him. I guess I could technically overwatch him at the end too because the big guns never tire. He's a monster. And I'm only hitting on sixes. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't change anything. So let's start with the big, big guns and see what they can do. Two blast pistols in there on sixes. Those are within range? Uh, because they'll be within the 12 now. Oh, yeah. right. Okay. Blast pistol hits. Oh, actually wounds too because it's lethal. So that's one wound from a blast pistol. And then we have a blaster, which misses. We have a dark lance, which misses. We have the carbine on sixes. We got a wound with a carbine. So we have a blast pistol wound, a carbine wound, a cannon wound, I should say. Do the shredder, I suppose. That's six automatic wow. hits. Here's the shredders on five. So the shredder does three wounds, but there's no AP on that. I'm going to put that with all the blast splinter rifles as well. Okay. Splinter rifles, do this twice. One wound. One wound. So that's going to be four wounds at AP nothing. One at AP one. That's two damage, and then the one at AP, one on your invul. Yeah, essentially. pretty much. Yeah. Or two plus saves. We do no damage there. The splinter cannon is minus one, so it should be a three up. Which you're A-OK -okay on that one. And then a four up and vulnerable save, I believe, from the blast pistol. Ooh, nope. a three. That's only D3 damage, though. Uh, it's one. <laughs> All right. Don't forget about the card of the Archon weapons, the eye blast and the carbine. So the carbine got has a wound because of lethal, and then the eye blast, I have no idea what it does. Way better than I thought. It's D6 automatic hits. With six. Fives to wound. At your in four, wow. three at your invuln. They're only one damage, though. Four ups. Wow. Ooh, it does two damage, and then you have one two up save against the shard carbine. There's a lot more overwatch than I thought. Boom. There we go. And you know what? There's probably rerolls on top of it, but I'm not gonna go back and look it all up. I'll, I'll take the damage I got. Excellent, all right. Well, actually, there wouldn't have been many of those because uh, all the lethal hits, it's only wound rolls the Archon has there. So that's his charge. Uh, was there, any, there were no more charges over here, but we do have a few over here. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm going to, I'm gonna roll for the fun of it for the uh, Gaunts and Neuro Tyrant. <laughs> La. Seven! They, are in. they all make their charge. Let's see if the Psychophage can get into my Raider. Not that difficult of a charge. You got a four and a, oh, nine. Yeah, nine. Welcome, welcome to the fight. Crunch. Nice. I was debating on counter charging with these guys. I didn't want to though. I'll just, uh, I'll light them up instead. I don't want to risk whiffing the hits, you know? Oh, but they get full rerolls. The Husk Blade's kind of cool. I don't think the rest of the weapons are that good though. No, I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna find. I don't think uh, fighting this one. I'll just take the hit. I'll just take the raider loss. How's that sound? You know what? Upon uh, further consideration, I realized you could kill my raider and pile into them, 
and uh, which means I won't be able to use my power through paint because I have to declare it at the start of the fight phase, not reactionary. So I will hero clean intervene with them for a command point. I'll go down to one command point and I'm going to counter charge with the Archon's unit. Did you uh, did you put it down when you did the other thing? I did, yes. Okay. So that's some counter charging. Only really the, the bone savers in the way, only the two models get in base contact with their counter charge on the five inch. Archon and random Cabalet Warrior Splinter Rifle. Uh, okay, well that's uh, that's it there. Technically the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, who do you want to go with first? Fight phase will empower them with pain. I think we're within nine over here. Might be free with that guy nearby. It was, it was free, nice. Feel a little bad because I forgot the Urgoyle gives the unit fight first. This is like a weirdly good utility unit where they get a bunch of weird nasty things. So they, they go first. I'm hoping I don't kill the high tower because I'm just going to feel like a jerk. It's warm, Lord. I know. Oh, sorry, Swarm Lord. Yeah, Swarm Lord. <laughs> Piling in there. Just a few guys getting in. Okay, that's how they pile in. Not really a lot getting in. We have a uh, random champion, Archon, two random guys, the Urgoyle, and the, the Slith. So they got threes to hit with full rerolls. We got a lethal hook as a Lemayan. I guess at this point, I might as well. They have the power through pain. So we have two wounds and no AP and no wound there. So let's do all the no AP ones first. Let me just pull them up. The Urgoyle on threes. We got a wound. And then these are re-roll, it's also a sustain hit, so that's one over there. Uh, another wound, and another sustain. And then they hit on threes. And then these all wound on, what's your toughness, nine? Probably? 10. 10? Oh geez, six is a wound with a re-roll, because of power through pain and the Archon. So five, two up saves. Can the quarter of the Archon do anything? We do one whole damage. And then I have to resolve the Slith and the Archon and the Cyberite. Cyberite? Cyberite. I Watch out, this has got strike three, <laughs> AP one, one damage. That's the, that's a uh, lethal hit, reroll for power through pain. That is technically a hit, six to wound. Two wounds at minus one. Two four up saves, or three up saves, sorry, it's only minus one. I do three. Take them both. Oh. No, you're good, you're good, three that's up saves. That's what I'm sorry. Oh yeah, you're passing both. Uh, then we got the Slith weapon. Three attacks from Mr. Slith. Uh, I guess I'll keep I'll just reroll it all for power through pain. Uh, we got a miss, two hits, and your T10, you said? Yep. Six is to wound with a reroll. One at minus two. Mm, he's got a fancy sharp blade. You're good. Last thing to do is the husk blade on the Archon. Five attacks at strike three. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to reroll them all because I want lethal hits here. I got none of those, and then I need sixes to wound with a reroll. One wow. at your invul. One at your invul. Come on. Yeah. Excellent. All right, Let's so go. that's it. I've done my first, my fight first. That's all resolved. You can okay. go ahead and do all your charges. We're gonna have all the bone saber attacks into the court of the archon, and then technically, uh, I cheated with the blast pistol. I thought it was 12 inch range. It's only six inch range. So even when you charge, the blast pistol was too far away to fire. So that one damage it did actually did zero damage. So back up to six. And uh, you actually want to direct all your attacks in my court of the, oh, my Cabalite Warrior unit. Yeah, the warriors are going to go down first. Twos! You miss a couple of times. Wow. And twos to wound. Uh, and you get to reroll because it's twin link. You have many swords. When in doubt, bring more swords. Four wounds. And six wounds. All right. Well, that is going to be invulnerable saves. <laughs> so let's put these on Cabalite Warriors. Power through pain. Give me sixes. Oh, no. Six are dead. Three dead. Uh, let's lose a uh, card. We have five basic weapons. We'll lose those ones first. One, two. Yeah. Oh, it's really hard to pull them out. Three. And then four. Which one do I care the least about? Probably the blaster, honestly. Ah, uh, I don't need the cannon anymore. That's it. He kills a bunch of uh, old elves. Or... <laughs> Or whatever they, they are. They are old. They are old. Uh, who do you want to fight with next? Um, let's go with the Psychophage. Oh yeah, beating up Why this not? eight wound raider. But it's I am wounded, so. Tentacles, d6 plus one attacks. Ooh, three. That's weird, it's got a random of attacks. Three. Two's to hit. Okay, oh, 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 a oh, hit. Oh, oh. Does it wound? Uh, it yes, does. it does have devastating wounds. So that's gonna go right through. I'll have six remaining uh, pain points on that guy. And we got the Gaunts and the Nero Tyrant over here. These little Nero Gaunts first, they get plus one to hit because they got the big brain leading them. <laughs> All right, six is to wound. Uh, okay, and now the big noodle. And the Nero Tyrant, six attacks. Uh, sure. <laughs> What's the strength of a six? Wow, strength five? Oh no, well, I mean, it's still doable. How is this thing still alive? What is happening? I don't understand. 
Man! Oh my god! <laughs> it's still alive. <laughs> One wound. Now, granted, the killing it doesn't really matter for victory points. I but suppose. It, it's just kind of funny. It doesn't want to die. <laughs> yeah, it's it's more of a moral victory that I'm trying to go for right now, and it's not happening. Gosh. Okay, well, that's uh, that, I guess. I will fight back with my Venom. Try and cut up some of the Neurogons. Uh, okay, that's three ones. We're done. This thing's got <laughs> Blade Veins. Force to hit. Uh, that's a six. Nice. So I got two hits and six strength six, so not nothing there. We got one more. Uh, we're hitting on fives. Oh, there we go. Because we're, 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 we're bracketed. We're really hurt. It's fives to wound. One. Two up save. And do I do a damage? Uh, that's a five. You're good. Hey. Nice. No damage there. And that will conclude the turn for the Tyranids. Uh, as for your secondaries, you definitely engage in all fronts and deploy teleport homeward. Deploying the teleport homeward with the parasites worth three victory points and engage in all fronts. You're on this table quarter, you're in this table quarter, and the other two as well. Well, that means five victory points for engage because he's more than three away from this table quarter. So is that guy, and they're not battle shocked. So that's an eight point victory swing on top of all the secondaries in the beginning. I'm not going to be getting any primary for the ones in the middle because, man, this is difficult. Uh, priority targets, that's a rough one to play in the Terran. It's with uh, Drukari, maybe. I don't know. Uh, we get two points for our own, though, as we go on to battle round two. All right, well, uh, would you believe it if I said I also drew engage on all fronts and deploy teleport homer, much like wow. Jason drew. Yeah, the exact same wow. cards. <laughs> so okay. I have to do the exact same things. However, I have Scourge. I may be able to get five points for deploy teleport homer and engage on all fronts. Uh, they'll also help contribute to that, actually. So the Scourge will be very valuable for me this turn. My command phase, both Jason and I will get a command point. I'll show you where they stand in a moment. And uh, there's going to be a bunch of battle shocks to check, but for for the first of engaging all fronts, I'm going to have my scourge show up probably around here, I guess. And then the rest uh, doesn't really matter. I might actually go over here if I'm thinking about it, because I wouldn't mind this venom just running away like a little coward. And uh, that's about it. We are going to go to battle shocks, but before we do that, the Dark Eldar are no strangers to the uh, the macabre and the odd. However, I don't believe they have encountered a, a high fleet quite like this one. And for <laughs> that reason, an icy, almost foreboding sense of dread tickles their spine like they've never felt before because Shadows of the Warp has been activated. So we're going to do battle shocks across the board. And we got the Nero Tyrant, which makes them all just a little bit harder. I'm going to take a quick peek at like my leaderships and see if they're all like generally the same. All right, everything's leadership six, which means I need to roll sevens because of the big guy there, because sevens are reduced to sixes. So we'll start with this Raider or Venom. Uh, they are passing. High is good. And the Raider back here is going to fail. He's battle shocked. This uh, Kronos is going to be a seven, which is reduced to a six. He's good. We got the Ravager back there, who is going to pass. The Rax are gonna roll five, they're battle shocked. Normally that would suck for these guys, but uh, luckily the Ravagers nearby would also help with some objective control. Now if they both failed, <laughs> I would have to do an Inspire or something. And moving on to this Raider with his little dudes. They're okay, Court of the Archon is battle shocked. I'm debating if that's, ooh, that means falling back's gonna be suspect for them. Yeah, it'll be a desperate escape. Yeah, we don't love that idea. So we're just gonna take the battle shock and stay in combat and fight, I guess. Got some pistols in there, might help out. Uh, this Venom is battle shot. Nice. Bring it to the end of the command phase. I do score two victory points for my home objective. Okay, well for score, it's uh, not ideal. So far the Terrans are whooping butt. Thanks, Jason. You're welcome. Uh, we got 13 to 30 points to my seven. <laughs> Movement, I believe I am going to disembark the contents of this Venom and then we're gonna move it. Contents disembark and then we're gonna move the flyer over there. We're gonna move these guys immediately afterwards. Uh, yeah, something like that. I'm gonna see how much damage we can do this turn. If I don't do a lot of damage this turn, I kind of just lose the game, if I'm to be honest. Mostly because I can't, uh, I guess too close. I can't actually get victory points. I need to uh, get victory points. There's too many little bugs all over the place. Keeping them there. I don't know if I should keep this thing in combat and just fire the Psychophage or fire something else because big guns never tire technically, which is nice. We keep the rack still. The Ravager could, I'm just gonna position the Ravager more like that. I'll just keep it within range of the objective and then just, Pew. I don't know, it just kind of looks cool doing that, I guess. Back it up a little bit so I can draw some line of sight to the Nero Tyrant. 
Uh, I'm gonna keep this Raider in combat, and then this Venom I don't know what to do with. Like, I know I gotta be aggressive with it, but it's so hard to sweep and clear some of these objectives. I'm just gonna move it to here so that next turn I can jump onto the objective if I needed to, but I can't get there now without being too wild. I can't like move there without advancing and I'd rather have the guns, I guess. It's where we're gonna put our Kronos and I guess that'll be it for the movement phase. And we're gonna go ahead and go to the shooting phase and uh, we're gonna use a lot of power or pain tokens, eh? Let's go ahead, what do I got? I got six in my pool. I'm gonna put one on these guys. Does it cost me one? Cause they're within nine. It's, it cost me one. All right, let's put a little thing beside him. Put one on the Raider. Uh, is it free? It is not free. Battle shocked and has power through paint on them. Uh, let's do this Raider. Uh, I don't think it's within nine actually. Well, it's not free anyways. I meant Ravager, boom. And this Raider is gonna get one as well, but it's too far away from the Kronos to see if it is free. And I'll put one on the Venom as well. And I'm gonna hopefully get, I have one left in my pool. And I'm gonna hopefully get a bunch more. We're gonna see what we can pull off here. I'm gonna start with the things I don't really have much of a choice on. I'm gonna have the Court of the Archon fire its pistols into whatever pistols it has, which aren't much, into the Swarm Lord. I'll start, with, I'll start with the Archon, and then we got a blast pistol, and I think that's it. Archon's blast pistol hits the Cyberite's blast pistol wounds, because it's lethal. Uh, does the Archon's wound? Uh, yes. We got two of your invuln saves from Blast Pistols. Regular? Just four ups, yep. Uh, fail one, Ooh. make one. D3 damage from a Blast Pistol. Three. Not bad. Wow. He's got three wounds left. I have the a Splinter Pistol on the Slith. That was not meant to be to come out that way, but I couldn't remember what he was called. So uh, Splinter Pistol is a single shot. It's a miss. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. And then the Eye Burst is D6 automatic hits. Bow. All right. Now it only really affects infantry for battle shocking. So these are fives to wound. We're rolling ones for the Archon. Okay, one at minus two. Uh, oh, one wow. more damage. He's got two wounds left. We might be able to deal with him in melee. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can't start tearing things apart. Uh, is there is there a stratagem that lets me fight first? <laughs> I don't believe so. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> you might be SOL on that one. Ah, fair enough. It was worth a shot. <laughs> I don't know what. Okay, you know what? Let's do these little guys here. Uh, ooh. Man, I want to wait to fire so many little. You know what? No, let's do with this guy, Kronos. It says he gets his spirit siphon or vortex for free and doesn't swap anything out. I don't know what that kit looks like. I'm going to assume that it's built with both of the weapons. So I'm going to do both the weapons into the Nero Tyrants unit of Nero Gaunts. I'm going to siphon the spirit of the bugs. It's D6 automatic hits as strength five. It's pretty much a heavy flamer. Uh, threes to wound the little. They're not T two, are they? Little Neurogons, probably not. The Neurogons, uh, they're toughness three. All right, three wounds on them at minus one. One model's within six of this guy. They have a six up, feel no pain. Uh, it wouldn't matter. Wow. Only one dies. Okay, well, definitely don't lose that guy. One of the little bugs, and then we're gonna do the other weapon. It's a blast. D six shots blast. It will be plus one though. Two. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 And one hit. Just hits on threes. No wound. All right, we got a Nero Gaunt with that. Excellent. <laughs> this thing can't shoot. Let's go ahead and do their shooting. Uh, we got the blast pistol and a blaster. We're gonna do the shredder, the two carbines in here, or the two rifles, and then the blast pistol because of range. And then the blaster's just gonna go into him because the big guns never tire, I guess. Ooh, the blast pistol will go that way as well. Ooh, and he's got a grenade launcher on his back. So I'm gonna use grenade strat as well over here before they fire. Go grenades! Boom, boom, boom. I do three mortal wounds to this thing. But he's got a five of feel no pain. Feel no pain. Two damage. That's they not work. bad. Grenades are always good. Grenades are one of the better stratagems. I uh, actually do like grenades. I do too. Strategy. It's weird that they're a stratagem. But, but it's, yeah, it's it's just, uh, it's uh, it kind of goes in line, I find, with uh, amalgamating all the weapons together because they used to have plasma grenades back in the day. Yeah, and they have frag grenades and plasma grenades and then even phantasm grenades or something for the Dark Eldar. Yeah, they had their weird leadership check. The Harlequins yeah. had them too, I think. Yeah. yeah. But so they're just like, you know, screw it. Those don't all need to exist. They can just be grenades in general. Uh, let's go with the Blast Pistol, you know, the big monster. That's a hit, uh, and uh, nope, and we don't get to reroll. Oh, but they have power through, I didn't miss yet. And then the Blaster is gonna reroll for power through pain. It hits, hey. Do doesn't get the lethal though. Uh, your toughness probably... Psychophage, toughness nine. You're good, no damage there. Let's do the Shredder and the two Carbines. So the Shredder, 
This is gonna be sick. These shredders are awesome, dude. They're really <laughs> carrying twos. So that's six wounds so far. And then the two blast rifles hitting on these, but they get to reroll because of the power through pain. And wounding on, so two more wounds. Because of uh, the train kind of in the way, there will be some cover here. Six at a time, uh, five up saves because of cover. And then you have a six up feel no pain. Oh, so five might die, but they have a feel no pain. And then the other two, okay, so that is all feel no pains on these guys here. Sixes. Whoa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know, sometimes the dice, they're hard to control. Uh, kills only four. That means there's one left. Two left, I mean. We'll probably keep the two near the Psychophage, who's actually kept the unit alive very well. And I'm probably gonna bring them back. I got, I gotta put more. I got a few more shots oh, I can okay. put in them, though. <laughs> Next up, we might as well go with this Raider. And uh, we are gonna put the Dark Lance into the combat we're involved in. And the other Dark Lance from the unit, the Blaster and the Blast Pistol from the unit. And then we're gonna do the, uh, what's it called, the splinter cannon, this way, and then all the all the rifles into this unit. Yes, and then the shredder will also go into this unit just in case. Do the two dark lances. One's hitting on fives. Uh, they're both hitting on fours because the one inside is heavy because the big guns never tire. It's hitting on fours, but we get to reroll for the power and threes to wound. Two wounds on the psychophage minus Ooh. three. Uh, these should be six ups. Six ups. This could hurt. Oh yeah. Oh. We'll save one. D6 plus two damage. Three. He's got feel no pains. He takes, he's got one wound left. I got a couple blasters going his way, but they're not likely to wound him that well. Boom. Blasters are going to be forced to hit because of big guns. That's a five and a reroll for power. Okay. This, I need a five to wound. That's a drop die. Oh. Yep. Ah. Nothing. Ah. Let's do the carbine or the cannon that way. Forced to hit. Reroll. Uh, they all, so we've got one sustain and two hits, and then these are three swoon because the anti-infantry. One wound on them, minus one. Those warriors. Should have a four of save because there's going to be this in the way. Oh, oh hey. nice, nothing, okay. Have to do the shredder this way, and then all the rifles that way as well. So let's do, let's do the rifles first, I guess. There are fours to hit, uh, with three rolls. Fours again, because it's negative one to hit. If anyone's curious, all of my shots are negative one to hit here. These all hit. Threes to wound. Ooh. So you have three five up saves. Five ups. Two, but you have feel no pains. Sixes. Oh, we got the gaunts. Got the gaunts. The are gone. Boom. Little guys down. Lastly, the shredder into them. Three automatic hits. I assume his toughness is higher than six. So one wound. I don't know what kind of save he has, but there's no AP on this, so. Uh, four probably definitely works. Probably. So this is all resolved the shots. We got only them dead. Oh, but that's a, I think that's a unit killed. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. I can't remember. I don't know, because, uh, well, there's a leader count, because he's part of the unit. I think so, yeah. So I don't think it counts as them dead. I could be wrong. I feel like I knew the answer to this yesterday. Drawing a blank today. I don't really, I'll look it up later. I don't care enough for the pain token. <laughs> I'm gonna bring some of the stuff to resolve over here. I can't fire into the Swarm Lord with anything because of the Court of the Archon is- You already have. Well, with the pistols I can, yeah. Uh, yeah, but like, I can't do with any of the big guns, sadly. Because right. he's engaged with the little guys. No, I... but regardless, it doesn't matter because I want to fight in melee anyways. I do have to kill this Psychophage. Well, I don't have to, I would like to. Uh, let's do... I kind of want to do all of these Dark Lances into the Nero Tyrant. Do it. Let's put three Dark Lances right in his face. They hit him on threes and wound him on threes. Two invulnerable saves. See what you got. Roll high. Oh, hey. boom. Right off his force field. That's not good for me. <laughs> We're going to go to this Raider next. We're going to put the Dark Lance from the Raider, the Dark Lance from inside of the Raider into the Nero Tyrant. Uh, we're going to do the pistol on the Cyberite into the... Swarm Lord. And kind of everything else into the Gaunts in the middle, I guess. Put the pressure on them over there. I have a couple blasters. I'll put the, I guess I'll put the blaster into the Swarm Lord as well, because there's no real other good target for it. <laughs> yeah, and then everything else into the little Gaunts. No, the, but the, uh, the, the Splinter Cannon will go into the Nero Tyrant as well. Why not? Mm -hmm. So we'll do exactly that. So we'll do the Dark Lances first. They are going to be hitting on fours because of big guns. With a reroll though, because of the power through pain and hurting the big guy on threes. Ooh, or yeah, so two more invulnerable saves on the Nero Tyrant from the Dark Lances. Two before, can you do it again? 
Uh, can you make yep. one? D6 plus two damage. He takes seven. Oh. Put him at two wounds left. I might as well do the cannon, because that does two damage. Uh, we got... It's fours. Does it on fours, because I didn't move. Uh, it's going to be four hits. Unfortunately, six is to wound. Nothing. All right. Got the blaster and the blast pistol into this swarm lord. So blaster, pre-roll. That's a miss still because of the big guns. And then blast pistol is a hit. Not a wound though. That is also not a wound because your toughness 10. Okay. Now the shredder is two automatic hits, which wounded the gaunts twice. The splinter rifles on top of it should be fours to hit. Yes, threes to wound. So two wounds plus three. Five wounding hit. Four up saves because of cover. And I kill one. Cover didn't even matter. They just rolled a bunch of fives. One dead gone. Next up, we have the Venom over here who's got power through pain on it. I'm going to put both of the... There's three splinter cannons. Two on the Venom, one from the crew inside. All into those Tyranid Warriors. Into the very back there. And then we're gonna do as, as long as you're within 30, as long as the gun's range is 36, because that's where I put it without even really looking at the gun. And then we're gonna put the Dark Lance into the Tyrant. And everything else is into the Gaunts right there by the Parasite of Mortrax. Do the two Splinter Cannons into the Tyranid Warriors. Hit them on threes, because it's just on a vehicle. It was all hit, that was a really good roll, because we got two sustains on top of it. These are anti infantry three plus. Ooh. Ooh, nice. So that's gonna be six wounds. I'm gonna have cover from the building in the way. Uh, so four up saves on six of them. This could likely punk them with cannons. Uh, so that is two damage, then kills the other one. Yep. So they get splinter cannon. Then we're gonna see that dark. That's a that's a pain token. The dark lance into the tyrant. It hits and it wounds on a six. Oh no. One four up to save to rule them all. This is it. He failed. He's dead. It's minimum two. Oh, you can reroll it for two command points. Yes, I will. You have one command point left. Good luck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. He's just right through that soft, squishy little brain oh, there. Oh, no. It's, it's not an appealing sound, let me tell you. That's a pain, that's a pain token. Oh. That's a, yeah, no kidding. Ooh, that was a, you know what? That venom just hard carried right over there. Last things to fire are the two splinter rifles. These are threes, but we're rolling for power. And then these are wounding on threes because anti oh, That is going to be five saves on the Gaunts. We're going to have some cover behind that. And I kill two. Three. Three, sorry. Two boom, saves. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, two, and three. pop on my shoot. It's like working on it, but man, there's so many of them. I did all my shooting. I did the thing. Uh -huh. Well, that's not true. I didn't fire these guys. Do what I can into the Swarm Lord. And I'll put the Hex Rifle into the Screamer Killer, I guess. I'll do everything to the Swarm Lord. Forget it, why not? Two. The homunculus is Stinger Pistol. Hits, does not wound. Strength two, let's go. The Hex Rifle. Wait, Stinger Pistol? Yeah. I can't make it. Oh, oh it's it 12 It might be 12, inch. it might be 12, yeah. yeah. Hex Rifle, hits. No. The Ossifactor on a four, because of big guns. Uh, six to wound. Nope. Ossifactor would've killed them on the six to wound too. The Liquifier Gun, D6 automatic hits. One, not a wound either. Okay, they tried though. And All then right. the other guy is just stuck with like two blades. Did the thing. Okay, that is, that's now it for shooting. I don't really believe I have any charges. So I'm going to proceed with uh, fighting. These guys do have fight first. So we get to go before the swarm board. However. However. I am going to activate my stratagem of death frenzy. Oh, fair. So if you kill him, he gets to fight before he dies. Respect. Last one. Okay. Okay, we've piled in. The only one not fighting is the Dark Lance wielding Cabalite Warrior. I'm gonna go first with the Archon, give him the honors. Supposed to do power through pain on them though, so they get full rerolls to hit Moon though. Naturally, sorry. I have two pains left. Gone hits on twos with a reroll. I believe he needs. Oh, that's a wound because of the uh, Lemayan. Strike three! He gets to reroll though because of the power through pain. Nada. Oh, you got one invulnerable save. Fail it and die! And then fight me. <laughs> you get to fight me. Oh, He's you're got alive. Okay. So good. Honors do not go to the Archon. Let's see if the honors can go to three regular Cabalite warriors. That'll that'll uh, make them rise up in the ranks. Uh, we got one wound on the hit, and then these are threes to hit otherwise. Lemayne helping me out there. We roll for the Archon's rule. Only one two up save. That is All a right. four. And then I have the Urghul. Get killed by some weird cave monster. Oh my lord. <laughs> 
I'm gonna reroll this. Wow. <laughs> Same roll. So he's got sustained hits. That's five more hits. He's going berserk over here. Oh, if an Ergo <laughs> kills the Swarm Lord, like of all things, he's just slapping him around. Are you feeling pressure? Are you feeling? <laughs> Yeah. Like maybe in my chest area a bit. <laughs> those are those are the wounds because of the Lemayan. Uh, these are sixes to wound otherwise with a reroll from the Archon. Giving me, that's a, I'll just keep that as a five. Seven two up saves. Seven. Blind. I'm at six. Ba -ba -ba. Can you fail one for me at least? Ergo gets the sword. He gets right. to fight though. No, he, well, no, it's, uh, I did not forget on a four plus, I get yeah. to fight. Oh, it's not automatic? It's not automatic. Ooh. <laughs> Got her cool. I'm sorry. Got her cool. That hurts physically. Right. Let's Come fight. On. Yes. yes. At least I get to punch you before I die. Uh, you want to put everything into the arc court of the archon? Oh, I'm putting it into the court. All right, fine. Bring it on. Brackets on the swarm lords. So tombs. Blah, 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 blah. We got ooh, three Wow, misses. really? Not ideal. He's, Not he's got. He's dying. <laughs> he's getting. Oh, five saves, eh? Okay, what do I even got in this unit? Ah, oh, I gotta start taking them on like weird things. What I should do, I should kill the freaking Slith, because I haven't remembered his rule once. Every attack against the unit with the Slith is minus one to wound. Uh, I guess I can look at the clip now. I'll rob you of one of your wounds, maybe. Uh, okay, that does actually make it only three wounds instead of five. So I'm going to lose a couple of oh, Cabalite Warriors. There's a couple regular, there's one regular one. There's six up in Vol, so he's dead. This guy, he has no weapon. Uh... And let's lose, uh, I want that guy still. I already lost the cannon, so I still have two more saves. Uh, I guess I'll lose the Dark Lance. I do. Arr! And I got one more to do. Arr! Let's do the Blaster, because I kind of like the Shredder. Blaster's dead too. All right, there you go, three dead Cabalays. And a dead Swarm Lord as well. Which is a little more important. Ooh, a little more impactful. Yes. Very dramatic looking. They look. They feel very proud of themselves, especially that Urgul. I got, I got the... So the leader guy, a shredder, and the court itself. Well, I only have one thing to fight, and that's my psychophage. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if he could take out my uh, my raider here. Probably not, because I only get you get plus one to hit still. Oh, but you're negative one to hit because you're so hurt. Yeah. Never mind. He doesn't bracket. So d6 plus one attacks. Five. Nice. <laughs> Twos to hit. And sixes to devastatingly wound. Sixes are very ideal. Yeah. Uh, okay, we Dude. got a couple sixes. You need them on the wound rolls, though. These are the hits. Don't do that to I'm me. sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You just gotta get that same roll again. In fact, you can even get a better roll. Uh, wait, is it... Is, yeah, it's, it's... Oh, we got two lethals, actually, because of vehicles. So those are automatically wound. Those are right. That's ideal, too. Okay. And then these are... I don't know what your strength is. I think it's five to wound. Oh, there you go. Probably not the two. It's three wounds, then. Uh, negative one AP. Yep. Fives. Oh my God. Wow. Oh my. You can't two. beat the Luke of the Dice. Those were two damage each too. That could have done something. That would have probably popped it too. I gotta get rid of that. Back with my blade veins. You ready to die to blade veins? Never. I'm never ready to die to blade veins. Uh, that's a wound. Fives. One wounding hit. I don't know what your save is. Beer oh, probably. Probably. Oh no, no invulnerable. Yeah. So I've got a three plus save. Are you ready to die to blade veins? No. <laughs> <laughs> three up. Three up. I, no! I, I got bad. I got, I got bad news. Dude. I got bad news. Ooh, does the Swarm Lord have deadly demise? Because uh, he, I don't know if. He oh, does. he does. He has D three deadly demise. And this guy probably has deadly demise too. Let's let's do the Psycho Phage first. Yeah. Then we'll go back and do the Swarm Lord. All right. So Psycho has a pain point. Oh my god. <laughs> the best Psycho Phage. Uh, no, he's gonna die quietly. And then the Swarm Lord. Everything's around him. Oh, Damn. That would have been a dramatic. That would have been a wonderful one. I like that one. Yeah. I don't know what's happening, but they're all dying. <sighs> Pain point for that one, and a pain point for that one over there. Right, so obviously the Jukari hit like monster trucks. I kind of hate that because they're just sitting there shooting guns. It's not a lot of interaction, but it is what it is. There's some armies, oops, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Uh, some armies are like that, I guess. Uh, that is it for my turn. I score uh, with the Scourge over here in the corner. They were deploying teleport homers and they're part of engaging all fronts. So that's that table quarter. We got this table quarter, this table quarter, and this Venom falling back over here got me this table quarter. That's five points for engage and five points for deploy teleport armor. So I'm keeping the secondary game kind of close. I am just crapping the bed on the primary though. That is like all you, because you're about to get uh, five, 10, 12 more points on your turn. I can't do nothing about it. Alrighty, I got two new secondary missions, capture enemy outpost and investigate signals. For a capture enemy outpost, if I have one of my units controlling one of my enemy's control points, I gain victory points. 
And for investigate signals, if I, if I have one of my units uh, investigating and spend their shooting phase on to investigate the corner of any of the maps, I gain victory points. The more corners I get, I scan, the more victory points I get. With investigate signals, later in the game, it's a little hard to pull off because you have to get to the hard corners. And unfortunately, uh, capture enemy outposts will be nigh impossible because you have to break through some random crappy little Xeno stuff I have in the way. So the main focus is the primary objective, which uh, we get to the battle shock part, you automatically pass them because you don't have to take any. Mm -hmm. so that's five victory points, five victory points, two victory points, in addition to gaining the command point for your turn. Not too bad. Puts the score for me at a miserable 29 to my two. I do have 15 to your 13 though, so I'm up by a whole two points. So I'm only really losing by 25 victory points oh, when you my... look at it like that. A uh, couple things to move on this side. We're gonna reposition the Gaunts and the Screamer Killer. The Screamer Killer's coming right this way. The Gaunts are gonna get a little bit closer for range. And then we might move and we'll see what, see what we wanna do with them as well. But that's about it. That's it for the moment. Like I said, Screamer Killer, Parasite coming up. Uh, I don't really, didn't really plan on overwatching. I don't really have much in that unit anymore, so I don't think it's worth doing. And the Termagants, oh. Termagants. Oh, holding. Sorry, sorry for interrupting. No um, I think I'm going to use, actually. Oh, do you want to do Endless Swarm? I'm thinking Endless Swarm, but that, okay. Hypotheticals here. Hypotheticals. What else, like, What's about to happen? What else can I do? That's a good question. Uh, Luca is also in the dark. Is that command point on endless swarms? I unintentionally killed all the uh, the synapse units. I don't didn't I did not plan on that though. That just worked out that way. Uh, so they're gonna get three plus D three little bugs back. Super worth, I think. Uh, it's gonna be five. Nice, happy medium. And their ranks are bolstered. That's a uh, that's technically the command phase. Doesn't change anything though. So movement's done. We can go right to shooting. All right, let's figure do out it. Where you want to start, though? Oh, I'm mm. I'm pretty I'm pretty confident I know. Oh yeah, what are you yep. thinking? Yeah. So Termi's into here first. Oh, the poor venom. venom. Seventeen shots into the venom. One sixes. Five hit though, because of stealth. That is two wounds and a couple hits. These are six to wound with those. Actually, your strength five. Those are uh, venom five to wound. Yeah. Uh, four, four. Nice. Uh, I do have cover, so threes. He's alive with one! Are you I, effing kidding me? I kid you not! <laughs> and Venom survived this. They used to be made out of cardboard. Uh, they are! Look, I got four on one wound. I... <laughs> that... <laughs> you know what? Maybe maybe my 10th edition Dark Eldar uh, experience is going to be a lot better because they did not survive every time I played them like that. Let me tell you, these guys feel like the Dark Eldar of old, 100%. Like Dark Eldar 8th edition and 9th edition were like super aggressive in your face with witches, incubi and everything. Now it's like that. They just skirt around the battlefield, just like harassing the enemy, like like the Corsairs of old. Now granted, if you got into the Dark Eldar in 8th edition and 9th edition, they definitely play a lot different than they have for like 30 years. Let's put it that way. On to the next gaunts. We're gonna split their fire a little bit. Uh, you said eight into the raider, I believe. Yep, and seven into there. And my one wound venom. Venom. Is this one the raider or the venom? Oh, the, the oh, this is the venom. This is the venom. All right, minus one to hit, but six is wound. We got one wound. We got a wound and two hits. Wound, two hits. And then those two hits are gonna uh, five. Uh, two. Do it and for daddy. He's dead. <laughs> Does he explode for dramatic effect? No. no he... All right, so they're gonna boop, bye-bye. The rest of the shots, this is in the Raider or this Venom? The Raider. The Raider, all right, so it's gonna be three, uh, four stick, because he doesn't have stealth. Uh, but we do have three wounds. Okay. And three, two hits. Three wounds, two hits. And these should be, he's tough to say, so fives. Uh, to three wounds. Two wounds, no cover on him. He's uh, dead. <laughs> does, does he explode? Oh, yes, he does also explode. Take that cardboard. Need to kill this one too. You got the yes. You got the other venom. Yes. <laughs> uh, I got. I got to bring the honored friends out first, though. Oh, well, technically, yes. no. I do the explosion first. Okay. So he's I dead. Feel, I feel. Turns out the answer to all your problems were not the many <laughs> monsters you had. It was the flesh borer <laughs> termagant. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm having a great time. It's deadly demise D3, which means that one's automatically destroyed. Does it? Please, please blow up. Oh, I love. I like chain reactions. It chained? No, it didn't. Oh. Yeah, not quite. Uh, and then D3 to these guys. Oh, geez. They take two mortals. Wow. Uh, they all have two wounds, eh? I don't really need the Leman anymore. Oh, I've got a Screamer killing. Well, the, 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 the two warriors have one. I know, but I want to lose <laughs> the 
Ah. But every every time, whatever one of these you take away, you take away a uh, a benefit. I know. I think I can lose the Medusa because he does. He's not gonna help. Ha! Ah, battle I, shock and the gun. These aren't infantry, so don't worry about it. Their eye burst yeah. doesn't do much. It's it's just a good gun, but I guess it doesn't really help me otherwise. Explosion doesn't quite reach the racks. It doesn't hit either of your things. It does kill my venom, and then I have to disembark the raider and the venom. So I'll be right back. All right, so we got these guys popping out there. Those guys popping out over there. So I can take these off the board and. Get some of the clutter out of here. And then I got a roll for some immortal wounds. In this case, they're all one wound models, so they're pretty much dead if I fail. So 10 dice and five dice. Uh, let's go with the five squad. That's gonna be zero mortals. And then I'll just do this uh, again for the larger raider team. Uh, it's being killed in the plane zones. Two, one. One. One Cabalite warrior was not used to that song and dance. With that, we have the Bio Scream from the Screamer Killer and the uh, Tyranifex to resolve. What do you want to do next? I am going to use the Tyranifex, and he's going to split his fire. The Rupture Cannon is going to go into the Kronos, and his two shorter range weapons, of which the names escape me, are going to go into your Scourges. Yeah, he's got like a spine attack thing and something else. Two attacks from the Rupture Cannon into the Kronos. Two is to hit because you're heavy. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, both hit. Hey. And wounding on, probably twos. Probably. Uh, yep. <laughs> Cover on him where he is. Sixes. Oh, didn't matter anyways. Four D6 damage, whatever. Baby numbers. Uh, seven, six, so uh, 13. Fine. He's, I got a feel no pain. Seven wounds on him. Bunch of feel no pain, so that's going to be probably dead. Five. Six, seven. Oh, barely. Boff by Ooh, one. Eh? Wow. I don't think his deadly demise can hit anything, but he does dramatically explode. Wow. Does. Hits these guys. Uh, I guess I'll lose a carbine. No, that's not a carbine. It's a rifle. It's a rifle. And then this guy's dead too. 20 attacks. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> the 20 shots into these 15. guys over here. Oh boy, here we go. Two twos to hit. This is stood still. And sixes are good. We got a six. Nice. So those two misses, you get one more hit. <laughs> or threes to wound. 13 wounds, and he's got one other gun of, like, it's like the same profile, but it doesn't have heavy or sustain. It's oh. Sting or salvo, eh? Okay. Okay, so we did 13. 13 so far. Okay. And then eight more on threes, because it doesn't have heavy or sustain. Only one miss. So on top of the 13, here's more wounding on threes. Okay, sure, fine, wow. that's 20. <laughs> oh, they're dead twice on average, so here's the first, yep. <laughs> what, they're expensive for how soft they are, but they got me 10 victory points, technically, yeah. so that is super worth it. Do the Bioplasmic Scream, the last thing from the Screamer Killer, into our Cabalet Warriors. It'll be plus one, because there's nine there. So D6 plus four, then, instead of plus three, because of the blast. Nice, seven shots. Seven. Fours to hit. He's only BS4, huh? Okay, well, only one miss, that's not bad. Who's to wound? Oh, oh <laughs> two wow. ones, four wounds. Six ups on them, they don't really have any cover where they are. That saves one of them, three die. Oh, shock test at negative one. They pass, because they're bravery six. Okay. Leadership six. I will lose three. I gotta be careful on the rifle loss, because I can't really afford to take too many, but I think I might still take the hit all the same. Greenberg Killer charging the court of the Archon. You got it? Yeah. What do you got there? Three. Oh, fudge. Oh no, there's no command points. Nope. Oh no. All right. All these things happen. I didn't expect that. Uh, now, do I want to shift focus and put my parasite into there? Oh man, I well, think I why? do. Before you do that, actually, my first failed charge. So I suppose you know. I suppose that's the only downside is like like mechanically for the game for anyone watching here is that charge fails because the parasite if he charges here I can just heroically intervene for a command point kill him and then thus clear out a speed bump that I would otherwise have to deal with. Yeah. Uh, through other means. I mean, granted, I can still like try and wiggle through him and go and go towards them, the Gaunts, but the problem is I have to put shots in the Parasite now on my turn if I want to deal with him-ish. Uh, or you could try and go for Glory and get some damage in with him before he dies. The problem is this thing fights first because of the Urghul. Yeah. I don't know, it's like a really strong Well, ability. the whole unit fights first. Yeah, you know, yeah, the whole unit, exactly, yeah. So. They, they'd probably kill him before he could fight, so... I think you're better off with him acting as a bullet sponge. Yeah. Which is not a great. Not great. Yeah. I would like to get, because the problem was all I had to do was kill one model and then rippers would come out. Yeah. And then that would be a further roadblock. Exactly. But that just can't happen at the moment. That was a five inch charge. And you do have, you have a Ravager there. Like. I know. I know. Yeah. This is not going to be good. You could. Here. You're going to try and charge them. Yeah. I'm trying to, we're hopefully for a long roll here, like a big bomb. Uh, a not, seven is actually just a fail, I believe, in general. Yep. 
Yeah. Not. So he'll just stay there. But if he rolled high enough and he went over there, out of my Heroic and Adventure range, then we still got some stuff going on there. But them being within Heroic and Adventure range is a little rough. Uh, uh, that's unintentional. Obviously, I'm just stumbling my way to a good position with them. But, yeah. That'll be the end of the turn, unfortunately, because of that. And the secondaries won't be scored, but you can discard them for a command point. Oh, I certainly will. And drop uh, two new ones. Yeah. One, one each? Uh, or... Only one in total, yeah. But what, I'm what just is... going to... Actually... No, I don't think I can make it to your end, to your side. Well, that will bring it to the bottom of turn three, my turn. As we, uh, I gotta just keep, I did a bunch of damage. If I can just keep up the pacing, I can just start, like, honestly, the Drukari play like cowards. So, like, they just want to hit the enemy and then just kind of, like, slink onto the objectives later when there's no real threat. Well, the two new cards I draw will be Capture Enemy Outpost. Uh, that will not be happening. And bring it down, I could kill the Screamer Killer. And I will definitely try to. The Screamer Killer being 10 wounds will be worth four victory points if I take him out with bring it down. And uh, that is that. Now, I'm at three command points. And because Jason discarded a card, he'll be at two command points on my turn. I'll show that all off in a second. I don't think... I'm going to look at my stratagems. I don't think I have much I want to do in the command phase, though. Nope, nothing really to do, so i got to roll for some battle shocks. That raider's fine. Those warriors are fine. The slith unit could be battle shocked. Ooh, they are. Ooh, does that matter? I like how you call it a slith unit, not the archon unit. <laughs> not the archon unit, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, do, you, do, you, do I need them for battle shock? I'm just, I don't think I want to use any strats on this. going to move, shoot, and charge. And kill stuff, but they're not going to be worth any victory points. So yeah, yeah, they're they're battle shocked again. These guys are at six out of ten. They're at five out of five. So we're good with the rest because he killed all those weak vehicles. Nicely, <laughs> nicely done. So for scoring, I got two victory points from my objective, and these guys were able to slink onto this one to give me seven in total, bringing me to nine primary. I'm still <laughs> by twenty on primary. This is kind of what we have. Bottom of three, down by twenty in primary, but I'm up by two. So I'm only down by 18. Moving is going to be kind of simple. Ooh, Cavalier Warriors have a weird ability, actually. Uh, they, they are sticky objectives. That's not bad. Not bad at all. I'm going to have, with that in mind, and there's no real way for you to get to this objective, other than the Parasite, I'm going to push up on this objective with them. Stupid pirate stuff. No, the terrain. In mind, we're going to have them push there, and we're going to have the Raider move up as well. Look how brave these Eldari are now that most of the enemies are dead, pushing up. <laughs> Funny how that works. <laughs> Over here, I'll have the Ravager just stay where it is, I guess. My Homunculus and the Rax will stay still. We're going to move up with the Archon <clears throat> and these Cavalier units. Uh, that is there. Moving up back there. The Archon moved first, and then these guys pushed up over this way. Now we're good to go to shooting. I'm going to divvy out my pain tokens, the super fun ones. That Raider is going to get a pain token for sure. And the... I don't know if any of these other ones are worth getting pain tokens. The Ravager's getting pain tokens. Uh, absolutely, that's two of them. And the Court of the Archon will take a third one. I got a fourth one available to put, I'll put, I'll just, I'll use my last one of the squad here. Start shooting with this Ravager here. He's gonna put all three Dark Lances into the Screamer Killer. Three stay with three rolls because of the power. Did it help? Oh yes, of course, naturally it did. Threes to wound, three wounds as well. Minus three, you have three five ups. It's not an ideal start. Eh, no, you could reroll it if you want to. It's nope, 2d6 plus four damage. Uh, he takes uh, 11 damage. He's dead. Deadly demise. Does he go down fighting? To find out. Oh, he's pierced by three dark lances. Oh, he yeah, does. does. Okay, well, that's one mortal wound terror, so that's going to kill one gaunt each. Yep. I think it'll definitely, it's going to hit everything, actually. Yeah. Everything in this area gets hit right now. Okay. He just except does my, a Except world. my parasite. Uh, the parasite is probably within six as well. The parasite goes down to four. One gaunt each. One gaunt each. I'm going to lose, I guess, uh, I don't need the Dark Lance over here that much anymore. Squad also doesn't need their Dark Lance. Take a wound on the, uh, probably the Medusa now. I kind of want all the things on them. I mean, the man. man. All right, so wounded, dead, dead, wounded, wounded, wounded. All right, Screamer Killer can go down. We get a pain token from that too. Mm -hmm. oh. Next up, I'm gonna do the Rax. I'm going to fire into the Parasite of Mortrex, except this one models outside of 12, so I can't fire at them. Everything else can fire at them, though. And uh, I'm going to put that Hex Rifle, I guess, into those guys. Why not? Hex Gun, it is going to hit, and it is going to wound. Ooh, I think it's devastating. 
Six up save on a gaunt. It's minus two, you have cover. It kills one gaunt very much. Whew. And then everything All else right. on the parasite. It's got stealth though, I gotta remember that. Fire is d6, often is five. We wound him on fives, one at minus one. A five up save against that. And one more damage, he's got three wounds left. The stinger pistol from the homunculus does hit and wounds on a two. Anti-infantry, so it's minus one, you have a five up save. Hey. Six, excellent. It's a factor into him, hitting on a four because of stealth, we miss. And then the last stinger pistol, which also misses, excellent. Okay, they're finished. Let's do this unit. They're gonna fire everything into these bugs. That's gonna be two rifles, three rifles, and the, oh, what's it called, the cannon. I'll do the cannon? I'll do the cannon first. Well, that's uh, heavy, so that's... Four is to hit, because it's heavy, yeah. Uh, no rerolls, so just one hit. And uh, no wound either. And then we have six rifles. Threes and threes. Wait, six rifles, how? Uh, there are two shots each. There's three of them. Three four ups, because we got a couple guys behind the bill. Prunes there. Oh, two die. Two, two die. die. Ba -ba. Bang, 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 bang. And that's it for them. Then I got these two squads to fire with still. Uh, let's do the Court of the Archon. We're going to do Blast Pistol from the Cyberite into there. We're going to do uh, the Shredder over there. <laughs> and then we'll do, actually, we'll just do everything over there, except the two Blast Pistols will go into the Parasite, Archon and the Cyberite. Archon's Blast Pistol hits on a three because of stealth, and then the other guy's is on a four, which misses but they get a reroll because they're empowered. Still misses. And this is strength eight. It wounds. It's minus four. Sorry, what are we? what is this? This is a blast pistol. Uh, against uh, the parasite? Parasite. If it's minus four, then he's got nothing. D3 damage. He eats one damage to the face. Okay. Got the shredder into the gaunts. D6. Two's to wound. Uh, two of them. Can't see them all, so there's gonna be some cover. Uh, should be four up saves on him. Do the slith first, get him out of the way. Uh, one poison and a reroll. And then we roll for the Archon. Three more saves. Five four ups, no AP. Okay, oh, 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 oh. five of them. Just killing a bunch of those guys behind the building over there and these guys here too. So that means we have this unit left to fire. Uh, we're gonna do the blaster and the blast pistol that way. And then the shredder, the heavy and the rifle will go into this unit. Do the blaster first. I kind of feel like I wanted to do grenades here, but I don't think I'll need to. So the both of these blast, oh, the pistol hits on a four with a reroll because of power, and then the blast gun hits on a four. All right, and then these are two threes to wound. So one goes through. Ooh, 50-50. Oh, that no. was the uh, blaster because one's D three damage. So four up. That was the blaster that went through. It was the pistol. It does one damage. Oh, Damn. No. <laughs> the shredder into these guys. D6 automatic hits, it's only one, it wounds. And then the other gun re-rolls, this is the rifle, both hit, wounds on threes. So three wounds on them. The guy's in cover back here still, so, okay, no damage. Hey. And then we have the cannon into them as well, fours, with re-rolls, because they have the power, they had power to paint on them. One hit, and nothing. Okay, right. that's okay, so. Could have used grenades, should have used grenades there. That, that should be it for my shooting over here. I still have these two to fire with. Coming over here, we're gonna, we got a blaster, the pistol's too far, the shredder, and the rifle into them. Blaster first, hits, kills one gaunt. Shredder is gonna be four automatic hits and wound on twos. That is four more wounds, but you have cover. Four ups, kills one, not bad. And then we have the rifle. Shots. Both hit. Uh, one more wound with cover. Slow grind here. No, hey. no damage. Nice. All right, then we have the Raider who's got power through pain. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put its shots. I'm gonna put two Dark Lances into the Parasite, <laughs> the Blaster into the Parasite, and the Cannon uh, into that far squad, the Splinter Cannon. Okay. And then everything else into the squad in the middle there. Okay. The two Dark Lances into the Parasite. One is gonna be. Oh, no, he's got stealth. I meant lone operative. Yeah. Damn. That means all those shots are just gonna go to that far gaunt unit. Okay. The two dark lances. Uh, luckily, they both hit on fours. Two's to kill, so I kill two gaunts. Pew, pew. <laughs> so efficient. And then the, everything else is in the squad in the middle. So we got a blaster, which rerolls, hits. That kills one of the gaunts in the middle, because of range. This one? Yeah. Uh, lastly, we have the shredder. 
Six automatic hits, okay. That's gonna give me twos to wound them. That's six saves for the guys in the middle. And boom, boom, boom. Okay, that kills five. Yeah, one left. One's left. And then we just got a bunch of blah. We got a few other guns too, but. And the actual rifles. <sighs> Rerolling through power. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course, oh. these elves have a bunch of rerolls. Uh, threes to wound. Oh, only three saves. Right. Only three. You should have no cover there in the open, so it's just gonna be. Yeah, well, the three kills him for sure, too. And then after this thing fires, I want to use a strat. It's at the end of my shooting phase, which is right now. Well, I get a pain token for killing that guy, too. Called Strike and Fade. It allows the unit to take a full move. Uh, or normal move. So I'm going to move these guys right underneath the objective. Right to there. With that in mind, we're going to come to this over here. I have to deal with the Parasite of Mortrix, and I have to deal with these guys. I got one command point left. Order of the Archon is going to clear charging as this unit of Termagants. Probably need like a seven. If I had to eyeball it. An eight will most likely do it. <sighs> charging into there. These guys are going to charge the Gaunts in the front. So let's go four. Just get a few more attacks on them. But then we're going to declare a charge with these guys into the Parasite. That'll be ten. Eight. Sorry. Math. We're going to charge into there. You have two command points to interrupt, so I... I'm gonna fight first with these guys to hope desperately try and kill the parasite, I guess. Do a power through pain on them and a power through pain on my Archon squad with my last two pain points. Well, for now. All right, so they're gonna attack first with a side right weapon on threes, re-rolling. And these are anti-infantry three up. I'll re-roll that. Uh, two wounding hits at minus one. So he has five ups. And he will survive! Excellent uh, roll. Okay. There's hope. I have these. <laughs> These warriors, but they're not really that great. There's gonna be eight attacks on them. Threes to hit with a reroll. They might just be able to do it. Fives to wound, your only strength. Uh, let me double check. Fives to wound. I'll get three wounding hits from the Cavalier Warriors. You have four, three four up saves to make. You made two five ups. All right. Can you make the four ups? Not quite. <sighs> He does get, like, stabbed to death, essentially. Alas, poor Yorick. <laughs> and we get a power through pain point. And then we move on to the court of the Archon. We'll have the Lemayan pile in to here to fight. And we'll have this Urg will come up and around to fight through that one Cabalite warrior, and that should be about it. I'll go first with the Archon, because I know what he has. Attacks with a Husk Blade on twos. Uh, it's a poison, or sorry, lethal. And three up. Rerolling, though, because of the power. So five... He just kills five termagants. Pretty much five. Yeah. Five. And we're going to have the Urghul swing with his six attacks. We know how much we like him. He's got two more hits. Uh, roll that. I guess I should have rolled everything. That's fine. And then these wound on four, uh, that, actually. Strength four. Five ups. All right. Uh, that is five dead. Yep. There's one. Oh, not five. Four dead. So only four dead. There is a couple left. Uh, we've got the Slith, the Lemayan, and a couple Cabalite. We've got the Cyberite. We might as well do that guy. Uh, it's a wound. And uh, we roll for the Archon. Three wounds at minus one. So he got, he got to make uh, two six-ups and then survive the rest. All right, that is the, the Gantz done. And then uh, we would consolidate towards the objective. Now, speaking of consolidation. <laughs> we are uh, probably going to end it there. Because you have two full turns of uh, over 15 points a turn. Yes. And I and even if it takes you a while to unseat my Tyrant effects, that's only two victory points per turn. I would probably just hide and not even engage him. I think he's too tough for me to kill at this yeah, point. And yeah, and like he can he can dish out a lot of punishment with his three separate weapons, but it's not enough. It won't be a yeah, because I'll have like multiple because these guys could pile in and then consolidate on the objective as well. As long as there's an objective nearby to do it too. I so. came so close. It was. What, honestly, all it was was you just needed to make a few more saves on the big guys on the way in. I don't know what, I see, here's the thing. I don't know what's more, is it ironic? I think it's ironic <laughs> that I have, I, I, I play Dark Eldar normally and I lose constantly with them. And the one time I was present for a Dark Eldar victory is because I lost. <laughs> <laughs> Vault members, don't forget, down at the links below, uh, we have more Warhammer 40k for you. Um, so if you're a Vault member, check out the links. It's going to be uh, my Imperial Guard versus Necrons. And also if you're a paid YouTube member, there uh, should be a link down there for you as well to check out the content. Now enjoy the postgame. Uh, how do you how do you play? Do you play them like really aggressively, or do you play them kind of uh, cowardly? Uh, oh, definitely aggressive. Okay, okay well they're I, they're paper I, soft. Yeah. yeah, I try to get in there. 
but I also tend to make melee focus lists because I'm silly. Oh, yeah, so I, oh. I'm not the most meta chasing kind of guy. It's probably why I lose so much. I would have, there was a couple incubi units I probably could have added, but it's just, I, this the, the Dark Yaldar, this collection has no witches at all. It's only Cabalite warriors and it's got like the, uh, what are they called? Something hirelings. They're mercenaries. You can buy a mercenaries yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, that, that's actually another thing. I always uh, I like the concept. Once Ninth Edition released the real space raid where you had a homunculus, a succubus, and an archon. Yeah. I like that concept, so I, I always tried to do it. Yeah. So I always had, and I feel like I was spreading myself too thin. I, you had you, this army had a lot of redundancy, oh, yeah. which is important. Which is one thing I never do because I'm like I want this. I want this. I want this cool guy. Yeah. So redundancy is key, and I. Definitely. This it, taught me a lot about the army I'm going to be playing all weekend and about how I'm going to play Dark Eldar in 10th edition. I think this is definitely, if I had to, like, now granted, if I had the models, I would have dropped probably the Ravager and, and something else. Why? The, it did so much. It did. It did. It, it, it did. Uh, maybe, okay, maybe one of the cab, maybe that, maybe one of the Raiders of the Cabalite Warriors to have witches in, in a succubus. I would have had, I would have had to make, make points for the succubus by dropping, I don't know what really, but I'd, I'd figure it out, I guess. And uh, then I'd have like the real space raid. I'd have an extra pain token. And then I'd have the cool succubus and witches as well. But holding that, but like even even with them, I would probably hold them back until like turn three hiding somewhere and then go bully some weak unit. Like, yes, they did it. They killed that thing with two wounds. <laughs> yeah, that's it's, pretty much it. It's just when I, I, I've, I've played against the Dark Eldar a couple times in this new edition. And it's all about kind of like, you just have to hold back the whole time and then you just wait in your deployment zone and then pick apart the enemy whatever's getting close and then just kind of push on the weak flanks once this one once this one lightened up there's like oh we'll come in this way and then and then with that i was able to hit the middle with the support on this side and then that that was the strongest one but then the screamer killer failed the charge that was also pretty critical. that was a pretty big linchpin right yeah. there is failing both of those charges really like it just opened me up yeah, 100%. Because I, I was just there, and you guys could do whatever. You moved around it. You charged it. It was That was when the tide really turned. I, I, I completely agree, because it, it was looking like the balance of power was going in the Dark Eldar side, and then second you failed that charge, I'm like, that's like if I can kill that Screamer Killer with shooting, obviously, three Dark Lances three in the dark first lances. did it right away. I'm like, okay, that's Nail and Coffin. I think I can just clean up the rest of these Gaunts. That's another thing. Ravagers especially, but heavy weapons, empowering your heavy weapon squads oh, to yeah. get that re-roll is so key because oh, yeah. Dark Lance is, it, it's one roll. It's a yeah. single die, and if you fail, that's D3 plus three gone. Yep. And so it's just like, to, to be able to just re-roll and more consistently hit the Dark Lances, that's important. That's I'm, going to, I'm going to use that. I, I, I actually agree. I think I like the Ravager. I don't know how much Dark Elder players are running. I think I, I think they're probably running Ravager. I don't know. I was like, it's just, there's a lot of Dark Lances in this list. Steve's collection is just a Dark Lance collection, really. <laughs> he only recently added the Rax and the Homunculus to this list. I don't mind them as like a cheap little, like they, these guys are pretty good at defending your home objective. If anyone has like little nasty like scouts, or who, they're pretty thick and they're pretty durable. They are. Yeah. And their weapons are weirdly good as well. They're versatile. Yeah, I, I definitely, I, that's the word I would definitely use. They are versatile. Granted, I wouldn't mind having five more of them with a homunculus in the middle, pushing for the middle objective and baiting out enemies to go fight them and then just pounce on everything that wants to commit to the middle. That's, that's a way. That's also not a bad way to play the Dark Eldar here. Uh, for, this is actually the first time I'm playing against the Tyranids in 10th edition, and they're like a like a crown army of the edition. They're, I, I'm surprised well, I haven't fought against them they're yet. They're part of Leviathan, right? Makes yeah. sense. Uh, so I was I, I liked to see how they played. I like how the the, the, the synapse works. I liked how uh, the I like to see the stats of the units and how they work. That screamer killer, I like him a lot. I don't know how expensive he is, but he is like he's got an assault weapon that's pretty good, and he just runs at the enemy. And he's just if he's cheap, that's ideal. He's massive though too. Is he, what is he like? Hundred and something points, I assume. Uh, you know, I, I, right? You're asking the wrong guy. I have to check. I'd have to check my uh, my my Good, army list. Okay. Well, I, I, if he's if he's appropriately costed, stuff like that, I love. He's got an assault weapon, and he has no real merit on the battlefield other than disruption and just killing the enemy. Yeah. So stuff like that, I like to see as well. Now, will I play Drukari in the future? Uh, maybe. I only played this on Jason's request. Yeah, because <laughs> I love him so much. Well, he wanted me to play Thousand Suns, Demons of Zinch. 
Custodies? <laughs> I, li I like custodies, even though I would have signed my death warrant, but and, you know. And then out of nowhere, it was like, how about the the Dark Eldar? I play Dark Eldar. I'm like, you know what? I So I technically have a Dark Eldar army, and I that's not painted, so I never play it. And uh, I, I'm happy to see they play exactly how I would imagine the Dark Eldar to play. It doesn't feel good to play it that way, but that's how they do play. It's all backhanded tactics. Yeah. It's like, I got this Court of the Archon. He's over there. He fights first, no matter what kind of thing, because he got the, the ghoul. The Urgul, man. It the works. The Urgul's so clutch. So good. What is going on? Oh. Not that the unit itself is overly killing in melee, but it does like enough little crappy damage that it, it'll amount. Well, they get four rerolls to hit and to wound. So yeah, it'll amount to something. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then obviously, like, these raids. Raiders are like dirt cheap. Raiders, Ravagers, yeah. Venoms, all Raiders everything's so cheap. Raiders and Ravagers, especially Ravagers. I always consider Ravagers auto include. Well, at that least thing's two. Less, than, less than 100 points. Yeah, at that's, least two. That's crazy, man. Like, holy. And then you can even, like, you know, if you have the command points for it, you can pop out, shoot, and, like, if there's something that could threaten you, you can just go right behind line of setting in for two command points. That's I only did it once over here to get the uh, to get earlier scoring on the victory yeah. points. Which but... you can use it offensively. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, see, that's, that's what I was thinking, too, because, like, when you're holding back the whole time playing Dark Eldar, you kind of need to quickly get up the board to the middle so you can use that to fire with the Raider, jump it up. And then when they kill your Raider, you have obsec guys that just jump out onto the objective and things like that too. Uh, the other big thing was the fact that all my Raiders lived and, and my Venoms lived with one wound. They lasted too, too long. Way too long. Way too long. Absolutely too long. Anyways, that's it for this right. game. Thanks again for the game, Jason. Thanks for putting up with the nonsense of the Drukhari. And uh, well, good luck uh, in your games this weekend with the Tyranids. Thank Tyranets. you, I'm looking forward to it. Toodaloo everyone, bye bye. Toodle.